had Hello. been abandoned. So it was just Hello. broke. Yeah, it felt icky. <laughs> oh. And I distinctly told them, don't open the refrigerator. And what did they do? Open the fridge like five minutes later. Was it funky? It was funky. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the fridge was black on the inside. The freezer, I don't... The freezer know. was. They stopped there, thankfully. I didn't. wasn't in there if they opened the fridge. I am glad I went, though. I did get my grandma's old bench and a few other things, so it was worth it, but I'm still dead. It was worth it, but it wasn't yep. exceptional. No, it wasn't pleasant, yeah. And then my poor ferret died on Thursday, but mm. she was old. She was pretty old for a ferret. So How old do ferrets usually live? Uh, five to eight. She was seven. Mm -hmm. She was the last of the three. It, we kind of saw it coming, though. She had was basically in the equivalent of ferret hospice. But It's always hard, though. Dude, it's so not funny, but I just pictured her in a little wheelchair. Like... <laughs> slumped over. Yeah, if they made a tiny ferret-sized wheelchair, I would have bought one. <laughs> no, she was she was a little ass to the very end, so <laughs> she went out the way she wanted, and ornery. I can't be too upset at that. Ornery and cranky. <laughs> no pizza for you. Stop. I'll take the pizza. Philip wants pizza. He looks at the pizza, looks at me. Looks at the pizza, looks at me. Like I know exactly what you want. There's no confusion. What could it be? He's like, but then why don't I have it? Pizza bad for dogs. Does she want diarrhea everywhere? Oh god. No. Everywhere? Thank you. <laughs> Hello! Hey. Hello! Uh. Chilling! Uh, so I'm pretty sure Bliv quit. Uh, oh. She messaged, like, half an hour ago saying she didn't have time to, like, catch up or level up or anything. She didn't want to ruin anybody else's time. And then I told her, like, it's not an issue at all if she wants to still play. Uh, but if she just doesn't want to play, like, that's totally fine, too. But yeah, she never fair. responded, so... Yeah, it's a big commitment. Yeah. It's hard. It's a commitment. It's understandable. So, where we left off on last week's episode. Going to bed in the stables. You went night night in the stables. Mm hmm. We're going to meet the mayor in the morning. Demons attack the wedding reception. So. Oh, nice. Ooh. Where's that view? I'm gonna delete Zeno's character.
you gonna delete it or are you just gonna take I it? I deleted off it. <laughs> don't delete it. You can always wait. It's not an issue having it unless you don't want to see it. Unless, yeah, unless we're not supposed to see it. But don't delete it. So you guys wake up in the morning. The stable's literally across the road from the Iron Horse. Their uh, stables are kind of somewhat attached. The road leading through the middle of a big muddy field. This is the town of Heartfelt. Ooh. We're finally here. Yes, in the light of day, you can see the town layout before you. You don't yet really know what each of the buildings are, but you can guess from where you stand that it is a very small village. Primarily worked and maintained by those who live in it. There are few peasant type houses with one big house up on the top of the hill that you assume must be the Lord's Manor. Yes, the nice pretty one. Shaw's yes. Manor. And you cannot see the labeling on each of the buildings, but being as they are in the center of town, you assume that they are shops. Okay. Across the road from you is the Iron Horse, which you recognize. What do you do? Cricket, before we do anything, I just want to say this looks like it is like from a 1950s cross stitch piece, and I love it. <laughs> yeah, I like the motif. <laughs> I did it like an hour ago as fast as I could. What's a livery? A livery? Is that uh, like a livery is a stable. Like okay, cool. It's actually a mistype. It's a literary, and that's where you get lit. <laughs> it's actually a literary, and that's where we make lids. Livery is kind of like where you put the uh, animals. Livers of the people you kill. Smart. Well, where you put the animals, but you uh, saddle up horses and things like that. So that would be where you would get tack and feed and things of that nature. That's where we stayed last night, right? You stayed in a outcropping of it. Okay. Like in the stable yard. Because all of the white inside the fence is the stable yard. And then there's a, mm. a large barn in the center. Okay. Um, I wanted to suggest, I don't know what you guys think, but I, I wanted to suggest before we get into anything heavy, we might try to get like basic needs taken care of. Like if we need any components for spells. You should or, have masturbated this morning, man. <laughs> <laughs> or, or anything like that. I mean, me personally, I'd like to see if I can get some javelins. I don't know if there's anything your, your guys' characters need, or and we could also maybe try to sell off things we don't need. That was going to be my idea. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Anything. I have, like, weird armor and shit. Yeah, I need yeah. a alchemy kit or some shit. I remember. Yeah. <laughs> Let me find out. need some spell focus. Yeah, some stuff. And a backpack. <clears throat> I need alchemist supplies. Yeah, and the alchemist might know something about the cards. You could talk to them about that as well, maybe when you're there. Yep. Because well, on one hand, if we go to the lord of the village, the mayor first, and he's like, thanks for saving everybody, here's <laughs> some money, then we'd have a lot more money to spend. But on True. the other hand, if we go there and he's like, get the fuck out. Or if we go oh, there and he's being attacked by demons or something. Yeah. <laughs> All hell and see we walk through the door. Save me. Yeah. I, mean, I don't sure know how things work in D and D, but <laughs> I'm sure we should go buy stuff first, what we can, and then if we do just get money, we can always come back and buy more. Okay. That's true. True. Sure. I mean, we'll know by then what they have, and we can see something we can't afford. We can be like, now I have the money for that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so it's it's about seven in the morning. You guys kind of slept in a little bit. Um, you notice that a lot of the town is very quiet right now. I can imagine. It's early and they just got attacked by demons and have old hangovers. You're saying they don't you wake up and they don't start opening shops at seven? You do see smoke billowing out of almost all of the buildings that in your uh, viewpoint. Okay. I think we go at least to the shopping district, right? Do y'all want to head there? 
Uh, let's go to the blacksmith first for you and get your javelins. It's like okay. away, I think. Yeah. I cannot get my character sheet to pop up. Am I stupid? So, I'm guessing the door's unlocked on the the blacksmith, so we walk in. The door to the blacksmith oh, nice. is I didn't unlocked, <laughs> and we get you all Did not over. expect this. Thought oh. it was just going to be of the mind. Gravy Cuckoo looks a little different than I pictured. Yeah, Bluebird. Blue little songbird. You see kind of tinkering away with his... Uh, back to you um there's a figure standing in front of the fire uh with long uh red hair uh kind of fidgeting with something and they do a little bit of a double take uh not expecting anybody this early in the morning and they uh when they spot you in the door they say uh welcome welcome and when they turn to you, you notice it's the figure of a woman. Very large woman. Was she at the party? She is a giantess. Dibs. Giantess. Are you into yeah. giantesses? Who? Uh, anyone, actually. <laughs> How am I learning this now? Because <laughs> I'm totally into giantesses. Um, anyways, she's <laughs> she's a giantess, um, head almost reaching the ceiling. Uh, she's smaller for a giantess, however, uh, but she is built, ripped, large arms. I'm not recording. Did you record, G? Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you. Uh, ripped arms, uh, and she kind of like doesn't quite smile at you, she smirks at you, and is like, welcome, uh, didn't expect anybody this early after such a large wedding and the events of last night, but I'm always prepared. Uh, good day, that's exactly why we're here. Um, we feel a little bit unprepared, and we're hoping you can possibly help us with this. Uh, well, lovely well, we to meet you. Uh, my name's Cherry. Cherry Red. Hi, Cherry. I'm Gil. Nice to meet you, Gil. She kind of half bows. Very lovely to meet you. Harry, Cherry. Harry, Cherry. Um, Cherry, I was wondering, do you happen to have uh, any any uh, javelins by chance for, for sale? Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, follow me. And she kind of moves over here to this corner where there's uh, baskets along the floor with uh, different weapons inside. There's a basket of a couple of javelins, basket of uh, a couple of swords, short swords. Anything in particular you're looking for? Um, how much do you sell your, your javelins for, by chance? Well, considering how far we are out here and uh, the dangers that present, I'm selling each of these for about 10 silver per. Can someone translate that for me? 10 silver is what to gold? 10 it's... for gold. 10 to 10. 10, uh, 10 to 1. Bleh. Wow. 10 silver. Quite a, quite a bit. <laughs> um, do you also do any bartering? Unfortunately, I don't. Being the only blacksmith out here, I am beyond busy. I'm actually looking to hire on. Okay. Okay. None of um, you uh, have any smithing skills, do you? Anybody? No. Anybody? <laughs> the events of last night, I'm going to need to increase my inventory quickly. Understood. Do you have any... Uh, uh, Rapiers? Rapiers, right this way, young man. You can't afford it. She leads you over here <laughs> to a rack that has rapiers. There's only three, all equally the same in appearance, all adult silver. 
Ah, well, you know, maybe you could share the price of these with me, good friend. Well, what are your skills with a rapier? First of uh, all, well, I have been training quite a bit. Um, I'm proficient with either a, a rapier or a longsword or a short sword, but I might mo feel more comfortable with my favorite weapon. She kind of reaches up to the rack and tosses one over her shoulder, hoping uh, that you'll catch it. I hope I do, too. <laughs> so, <laughs> let's see. Roll dexterity. Just flat dex? Just flat dex. Like bad form to cut your That is a seven. Off. You, uh. This piss is just. Kind of bounces <laughs> off of your hands. <laughs> and against. Uh, does anybody want to help him? I'll try and help catch it. Ah! Right, just never catch a falling ah. blade. Dix, dix, dix. I learned that in the kitchen. 19. And, uh, Harry kind of skillfully grabs it by the handle and swipes it before it hits the ground. Does a little flourish and hands it back to you. Put it in a grave stand. There you go, old Chuck. <laughs> Show off. Chuck one over here, too. <laughs> she grabs one from the wall and turns and, like, gets instantly into fencing form. Like me or Harry? I'll cry a little. I thought maybe you'd want to spar a little bit since you're interested in the rapier, as you say. No, we'll I thought you were skills. a blacksmith, not a combat instructor. <laughs> well then, young sir, and she holds her hand out to take the rapier back from you. This is 35 gold. Damn. Well, how much for a sword sword? <laughs> <laughs> That's going to cost you ten silver. Ten silver, deal. I'll take one, too. And how much for a shield? Let's see here. Let me just check my inventory. Yes, Did you say a sword shard or a short sword? Short sword. Because it sounded short. like you said a, a sword shard. I didn't short. even know that was an Hard. item. Short sword. Short, short sword. Short sword. Short swords here. I've got about five. They're gonna run you fifteen gold apiece. Jesus. Uh, the sword shards. Those are the uh, unsuccessful swords that get melted back down. I'd sell you that for ten. Cents, but. Well, and that's a lot of money. Are you, and I've are got you... two shields ready here. Twelve gold apiece. God damn. Are you willing to, to trade used items for this? I just want to confirm that that's... We have some items that maybe we don't need that maybe you could find the proper owner for. Well, that would depend on what you have. Okay. I'm not going to turn away weapons at this time. Yeah. Um, I don't know, like, you guys... You guys have some stuff on you as well that maybe you don't need. Um, if I'm, I have the dagger that uh, Harry gave me that maybe I could try to barter with. And I don't know if y'all have any extra things on y'all that y'all are willing to barter with or trade. I think I'd have to barter with the Uh Let me see that dagger. Okay. And I show them my legendary dagger that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Forged by the Dwarven Kings of old. Uh, yeah. so she examines it and tosses it around in her hands once or twice, feels the weight of it. Uh, I'd be willing to go up to a gold for one of these. Okay. What do you guys... Do y'all want to see what she, she'll offer you for any of the stuff y'all are holding? Or? I think I'd have to meet the leather worker. It's a burger. Well, okay. Well, if it's made by a dwarven king, I don't know that one gold is a 
fair price. <laughs> you didn't tell me this. Uh, roll persuasion. Me? Yes. All right. Harry. Eight. Damn. Dwarven oh, king, you say? Very. He's so convincing because Harry is also convinced himself. <laughs> Should have made your last name dressed up. Can you tell me how you came to be in possession of such a legendary dagger? I'll tell well, you. It, you go, go ahead, Harry. <laughs> well, it, there's not much to tell. We found it upon looted by some goblins. Quite unsavory fellows. Not much for chatting. This and how are you so convinced it's a... Naked from the woods. How are you so convinced it's a legendary sword? Or dagger, I'm sorry. Yes, do tell. <laughs> uh, when I used this, this dagger previously, I, I, I felt, you know, the essence of the previous owners in it. Um, and... Uh, it, it felt to me I could feel their their soul and their their pride and their work and everything that went into this dagger. The roll persuasion. Okay. Uh, am I good at persuasion? Not horrible. Did I do? Okay. Eleven. Okay. <laughs> she kind of squints at you. She says, "I'm not sure. I'm I'm buying that, but." Uh, I do know that your people Whoa. tend to have magical gifts. His people? Oh, orcs? what the heck? I'll give you two gold for it. Damn. Deal. Okay, so I'm going to trade it to her uh, for two javelins. Gravy, what did you say? Oh, I was wondering if uh, she mentioned like his racial. Yes, that's what okay. she's referring to. And she referred that orcs kind of have magic stuff sometimes? Yeah, she clearly doesn't know shit about them. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. No, I was just wondering, because, you know, maybe she did know a bit about them. <laughs> no, it definitely sounds a bit ignorant. Harry just seems confused all around. <laughs> but he doesn't say anything further. And you want to trade that for two javelins? Yeah, two of the javelins. They're only ten, uh, well, 15 you said it was, silver. I thought it was... Ten so you said ten silver and ten silver is equal to one gold and the dagger was worth two no, gold. Isn't, isn't Did it I ten? get that wrong? You can get twenty javelins. Yeah. Yes. It's, sorry, it's a hundred to one ears. It's ten it's, javelin or ten silver per javelin. Uh huh. Oh wait. And hundred copper, a hundred. I will silver, give you two gold for the dagger. Okay. Well, I'll get. I, all right. So how many? Ja <laughs> you could buy twenty javelins. Dagger ratio. Yeah. You Wait, can buy okay. twenty javelins with two. And gold. I'll, I'll take I'll take five javelins, and um, and the 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 money back that is in excess of that. So you'll take five sense? javelins. Yeah. Okay, so you'll get back one and a half gold. That, okay. Is that that sound right, Cricket? That's fine, and that's all five of the javelins I have. Okay. They're all mine. <laughs> Uh, does anybody else have gold? I have seven gold. I say to How the are you going to carry five javelins? I mean, my starting equipment was five javelins, so I think I'll be all right. Okay. So where where do I where do I put? Uh, so is it fifty silver? Is that what that would be? Or yep. Okay. Yep. Yes, and I want you to describe to me what it looks like when you carry five javelins. <laughs> well, they're not they're not that huge, right? I mean, I mean, I don't, no. I don't know what a javelin yeah. looks like, but like tall. Yeah. They're like four or five. Wait. I just I just I bundle them up with that that cloth that I had from the arrows and I, I uh, put them around my back on on, on the side of my, on my back and hang them there. Okay. Do you maybe sell a holster? Uh, is there a holster oh, no. for javelin? <laughs> but you could check with the the okay the guy next door. On wood. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it, babe. Thank you. Thank and you, no shields, no rapiers uh, did for the party. Did y'all want to get a shield? What was the cost? Uh, we don't have that kind of thing. No shield for me, thank you. 
Well, I appreciate your business. Maybe and later again. we will definitely keep it in mind. Um, just right now we're a little low on funds, but uh, we do appreciate your hospitality and uh, your graciousness in this this uh, uh, the trade deal that we just made. I appreciate the legendary keepsake. Safe travels. Keep it safe. She goes back to the fire, turns her back to you. Wait, so how much gold do we have on our party, guys? I have six, six fifty. I, I have don't know seven. how much do we have. I have seven gold. And so does you anybody guys else are have any welcome money? to use it as you need it. I do not have any money, no. Okay, so it's good no, to know. So if we go to the other place and y'all need it, just tell me and I'll put it in the box. Thank you. Quite lucky mm -hmm. to happen upon a rare dagger for the extra cash, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> I might grab a backpack while we are there. Uh, you want to head to the leather workers or the market? Um. Uh, where are we now? Well, the bakery is right across the street, right? So we could probably see the bakery. I mean, I see the bakery. I want to go to the bakery. All right, let's go to the bakery. Bakery. Even if I'm alone. <laughs> I'll race you. Well, let me drag you to the bakery. Okay. Oh, so you enter into the bakery. It is very hot compared to the coolness outside you see two women working uh one is standing at the counter uh folding paper and another is by an oven with a large paddle uh moving things around the woman at the front counter says welcome welcome i see we have our heroes in for breakfast Oh no, yes, but no. <laughs> but yes. But yes. <laughs> Come on what, in, what, what can I get said? you? The well, I just somebody. wanted a loaf. Yeah. Just a loaf? She uh, walks up and grabs uh, Birdman by the arm and puts her, like, intertwines her arm with his. And she says, <laughs> Come and see all of the delicious little delicacies I made this morning and she kind of drags you guys uh, over here where all the shelves are with her wares. There's loaves, there's pastries, everything looks fantastic. She's like, I've got tarts, I've got sweet buns, a loaf. I'll give you a loaf. Awesome. It all looks so splendid. Whatever you recommend, madam, I'm sure anything would be perfect. Well, what well, do you think the mayor would like, Mayor Schott? Mayor oh, Schott? Hmm, very smart. He definitely has a sweet tooth. And uh, she he looks over looks at like her sister it. who giggles. <laughs> <laughs> the mayor likes our specialty here. In fact, I only make them for him. Damn it. And she takes you over to a platter that she lifts and, and brings around, and they are... She is familiar with them. Escargot. Mm. They are a thin pastry with multiple layers like a croissant that is twisted into the flattened shape of like a snail. Oh. And it's laced with sultanas and that's like raisins. And he definitely has a sweet tooth and the plump dried fruit in this really makes him very happy. So I would recommend this if you're trying to bring a gift. Killing the IRL cricket. <laughs> <laughs> I was done. Dude, I'm not even a huge fan of raisins, really, but <laughs> I had them when we were in Australia and they're incomparable. They were popping. They're like yeah. Danish pastries. That's so good. I, I love bread. You could you could tell me it's got anything in it and I'm like, <laughs> oh god, bread. <laughs> and she's like, but there's also his daughter 
you know, it would be nice to show up with a, a gift for her. She loves these little princess cakes that we make. And she brings out a triangular piece of what looks like green Play-Doh with pink frosting. And she's got the sweetest tooth in the house. Always lovely to bring a young lady sweets. Yes, well, why don't you set me up with uh, a baker's dozen and we'll take that loaf on top. I would be more than happy to. And she kind of lays out a basket and starts carefully wrapping. Uh, Go ahead and pick something out from the shelf over here. And she leads you over to a shelf that has uh, muffins kind of lined up. And uh, make yourself comfortable in the front parlor there. And I shall bring you all some tea for being great customers and marvelous heroes. Uh, I'll do any like, uh, you know, when you get the donuts and for your family and everybody, you get the favorite flavors and then you get like the last two like random or something. So I'll make sure that the daughter and the and the mayor have, a, you know, have their favorites type of thing. So she mixes up in the basket um, some of the escargot and some of the princess cakes and uh, is wrapping them up while you guys peruse the blueberry, chocolate, and banana muffins that she's prepared on the front counter. (laughs) The parlor is here, if you want to go have a seat. I am taking a seat, but know that I'm downstairs right now making a bagel because you are murdering me. (laughs) I'm so sorry. (laughs) You know, I used to work at McDonald's in high school, and uh, we sold blueberry muffins back then. I don't know if they still do, but... They still do. The McDonald's blueberry muffins back then were so good, and this girl I worked with, she would always... They had bagels back then, too, which I guess they have again now. They had cream cheese packets, and she would put cream cheese on, like, heated up blueberry muffins. Oh! It was so fucking good. (laughs) Oh my god. Only muffins I really like, to be honest. So her sister comes bringing a a tray of tea over and sits it on the, the table, and she doesn't speak much. She just kind of smiles at Gel, and, uh, looks at Jean kind of hesitantly and sets the tea down and okay. goes back <laughs> Go Gail. along her business. You saw that, right, Jean? Saw that? You saw the yeah, she didn't seem to like me. <laughs> uh, I was, didn't notice that as much as I noticed her looking at me. It was looking and at her me? sister oh, yeah. is Get packing up the basket of <laughs> baked goods and like wrapping it up and making it look. What kind of tea is it? Nice. Uh, who are you asking? You. I sip on it and find out. (laughs) It's oolong. Ooh, I love oolong. Ooh. Let me try some of this. I said in a very very long manner. It's oolong because you're in a bakery and they put honey in everything. Smart. And uh, the woman packing up the basket comes back around and sits the very large basket on the table and says, that will be one gold, please. I hope you're enjoying your tea and refreshments. Indeed, the tea is great. Yo, when we pick this up. Okay. All right. (laughs) (laughs) Notice Birdman wasn't saying much over there. (laughs) I'm... uh... (laughs) Well, you offered, so... <laughs> don't well, offer if you don't want to do it, Gal. <laughs> Madam, your hospitality is wonderful. Thank you very much. And I, I give her the gold. She uh, blushes, takes the gold, and says, I'm more than happy to welcome uh, the heroes of the wedding of most recent history into my fine establishment. My sister and I... Um, could, could not be prouder to serve you. Oh, it, it, it is truly an honor. You have a lovely place here. And, and waking up this morning, coming in here, smelling all these wonderful fresh baked breads, uh, it was it's really great. And uh, the tea here, this is amazing. 
Is it she kind of like covers her mouth and like, it is. And she's like, that's my special <laughs> recipe. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, this guy drinks pine needle tea and he's having like real tea for one. <laughs> Everything for Gail is, is like a first for him. He, he's never really left his home, so this this is just blowing his mind right now. Terry. So oh, she uh, she kind of goes back to working behind the counter and she's folding up like uh, baking paper sheets into Terry's little triangles. Like he would like to sample the tea thoroughly. Swish it around. I want to know the actual quality of this tea. <laughs> the quality of the tea? Whatever you do, you mean. Like, do you not like not it? not fasting. He's just tasting. Oh. He's just really He's thinking about the tea. Doing a self-assessment. He's doing British. a self-assessment, an internal monologue here. Is the tea actually good? <laughs> You're having like a whole... Mathematical moment. There's like a figurative flavors. number running above his head. He's breaking out a checklist of pros and cons. It's a little woody. A little woody. A bit of a bite. <laughs> but is it floral taste? And she says while she's folding paper, so you're making a trip to see our, our Lord Mayor. Yes, he's invited us to his manor um, to speak about some of the ongoings in the town. Seems as though the demonic assault has struck some fear in even the, mo in even the nobility. Ah, uh, yes, she says, looking uh, worriedly at her sister. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, could I make sure that <laughs> they're just normal people who are sad? <laughs> Like, you know, normal people would be like, oh, what a tragedy, but, like, you know, they don't know anything that's going on, type of thing. They could be throwing them off their trail with baked goods. Smart. <laughs> yes. All demons are being summoned through croissants. Honestly, Truth serum. it's the perfect cover up. <laughs> I ruined Cricket's whole campaign right here. No one that's so hospitable <laughs> would be so evil. <laughs> Perception. Eight. Perception. Roll. An eight. When she looks at her sister, uh, she genuinely looks concerned. You don't see any other um, implications in their body language that would imply they're anything other than genuinely concerned. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I sip some of the tea and then I spit it back out into oh, the Oh, man. <laughs> but I do it without them looking. But I think, like, Gel sees it or Gail even like Gail with this. Or Harry I mean, saw it. I grew up in the woods and I have better manners than this. But then, but then he drinks it again because that's how he eats. <laughs> yes. I spit it back into the cup. Before he can exactly. actually swallow it. And then I hold it up to the sky and then, like, drip it into my mouth. <laughs> You have to very good, like, very good. He has to have Gene, like, the spit local it slowly. So how good is the tea cricket out of ten? We must know. I must out know. Out of ten, yep. the tea is... A three. A three. It's amazing. Delicious. Mind-blowing. <laughs> Best tea I've ever had Hey, you're not life. supposed to be able to see my rolls. <laughs> when you roll them, advance roller, we do. Rip. You can tell from Harry's face. You see his face scrunch up, but he doesn't say anything because he doesn't want to be rude. <laughs> no, this, Harry, tell me, th this is probably the best tea ever, right? Please? It's <laughs> drastically <laughs> saved by the amount of honey that's in it, though. <laughs> he takes a deep swallow. It's a very I, uh, unique flavor. Unlike any I've had before. <laughs> I drink I the it. tea, I regurgitate it, and then, it, it and then spit it out. <laughs> 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 I mean, right, right now, Gail's just like a child in, in this place. You know, it's like he's just so, so amazed with everything. And and if you tell him it's not good, you're gonna break him. You know. So. No. <laughs> Everyone can do it. Birdman like he's like in Disney World, and <laughs> and he just met Mickey Mouse. You know, and he's like, it's real. It's really him. <laughs> it's really well, him. <laughs> I'm glad you have poor social cues, so you don't think that me spitting it out is bad. <laughs> yeah, you don't know. Everyone could do that. <laughs> 
Oh no. Gal Harry just chalks perception. it up as disgust <clears throat> from what he just witnessed. Gal, roll perception. Okay. Eight. Six. Alright, you look around uh, while you're sipping your tea delightfully and you don't notice anything out of the ordinary. <laughs> I mean, I'm just so content right now with my tea and... Oh, shit. It's, it's quite, quite amazing. A little worried, though. Out of character, guys, are we being stalled? I don't know if this <laughs> matters, but I have danger sense in case that comes up. <laughs> nice. Um... um Okay. Guys, maybe you wanna, you yeah, wanna let's leave. Uh, uh, thank you so much for the tea, madam. It was delicious. Oh, you're very welcome. What were, thank you. You'll come again anytime. We'll do. Sorry, Cricket, what were their names again? Or did they give their names? They didn't give them. Okay, we didn't to... ask. How rude are you we? You did not ask. Well, I thought it was like Mary. Fuck, maybe I didn't listen. <laughs> they laid it on too <laughs> thick uh, in the uh, beginning. The other we person was Terry. I don't know if the next person is Mary, but... <laughs> Cherry, Mary. Next guy's gonna be Gary! I can't wait. It's Mary Blue. Oh, Mary. Okay. It was Mary. <laughs> it was Mary. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not Mary. Are you trying to introduce yourselves, or...? Hey, uh, my name's Gravy, and this is Gail, Jean, and Harry. We're all suave, sexy men. Oh, but pardon my... Oh, I was just so excited and then a little bit intimidated when you entered my bakery when I'm just busy with morning chores. I, I apologize. Uh, my... Oh, you just make me so nervous. My name is Elia Gruge, and this is my sister, uh, Serena. Serena, come over here and introduce yourself, sweet. Serena comes over and kind of, like, curtsies. She's an older lady, probably, mm -hmm. like, late 60s, so she's stooped over a little bit. Well, I say in return, uh, well, we were so intimidated by both of yours beauty, we didn't know what to say at first, but then the smell of the bakery overcame oh. us. And that tea, solid three out of ten. <laughs> they both blush anyways. <laughs> <laughs> it was amazing. I almost choked IRL. <laughs> I'm definitely coming back to get some more of that tea. Well, any time, you're welcome to be my guest. Tea is always on me. Thank you. Oh, how much do we owe you for the uh, the pastries? I already paid oh, oh, he already oh, took sorry. care of it. My the mistake, handsome, I missed that one. The handsome magic man. <laughs> All right. Thank you, ladies. And we leave. Safe travels. I look back and see that Harry is knocked out on the floor. <laughs> Dead. I mean, a little blue in the face. It was just that good. Harry, you're enjoying the bagel. <laughs> so where do you guys want to head next? The butcher, leather worker, market? Leather worker, can... let's go. Leather worker. Leather worker. Leather. Knock, knock. Coming in. Put your pants on. Oh, is that normal? <laughs> you open the door to the <clears throat> leather workers building and you hear some light tapping. It is um, very cold inside the building. It smells divine, though. The rich smell of leather is encompassing everything that you pass. It hits you right in the face. Good day, sir. And a uh, small bell rings as you kind of pass this uh, entryway here. And a uh, man comes and kind of peeks around the corner and says, uh, Good day, good day. Uh, my name's Gene. Uh, how may I be of for, service? Yeah, we're looking for some leather. Um, uh, what do we need? 
Can you recognize? Somebody? Excuse me. Go ahead. Uh, uh, you recognize um, from the wedding last night uh, the woman's husband uh, who was three sheets to the wind. <laughs> the one I was he talking is, to? Uh, yeah. Is this the husband of the woman yeah. I was speaking to? Awesome. Yes. That's hilarious. <laughs> nice. And uh, he says, ah, oh, you look familiar. I believe uh, yeah. we met briefly last night. Yes, yes. It was quite a night. I hope you had yeah. a a good time despite the fatal end of it but uh, he holds out his hand and uh introduces himself uh derek derek stash derek stash that's a nice <laughs> does he have a nice stash though? hi derek my, my name's gail i don't know if i introduced myself to, uh, to you Full beard. this the beard illustrious stash though yes Full, okay full good. beard mustache chestnut colored very impressive it looks much different cleaned up and not blasted out of his mind um uh my comrades and i we, we were hoping to uh peruse your your goods as you have here and and maybe fill some basic needs that we might have in, in your le leather working shop um Oh, well, I'd be I'd be happy to see uh, what you're interested in, what we've what we've got. It's uh, <clears throat> I hate to admit it, but I'm a little low on uh, inventory. You know, we have these dashes every now and then before I can even get uh, pieces finished, and I've got all the tack to do. And never mind that. I just uh, I, I'd be happy to see what you have. So, we have uh, two sets of padded leather armor to sell you, or trade. Uh, and Gravy, you have these on Gravy you? wrote that he was, yes, he was gone, and he says, he yes, typed sir. in chat, I don't know if y'all saw it, but he's got one padded leather armor, is what he says. Actually. Yeah, yeah, and I have one, too. Okay, okay. Two, so, yeah. I'm back. Uh, I lay them out here on the counter, and then he kind of goes and clears the space behind his counter. For you to nice. The padded pad leather? On. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. We also have some goblin leather armor for as well, something like that. I don't remember. Who's holding? It's Gnomish. Gnomish, sorry. Oh, yeah, Gnomish. I have a piece of cloth that was used to, <laughs> to stash around some arrows. <laughs> well, all this padded. Here. Yeah, that's what. I could uh, probably easily resell this padded leather armor, mm -hmm. and uh, I, so I, I would definitely be interested in that. And I just want to inspect it a bit, and then he is kind of turning it over and examining it. Masterwork quality. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you come by this? I'm not buying stolen goods, am I? No, no, it was uh, rightfully pilfered from the corpses of those who decided to attempt to kill us. Are we snotting along? No stolen goods, just rightfully owned now. Keepers, 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 keepers. Hmm. As they well, say. Murder keepers. <laughs> I think I could probably go up to maybe four gold okay. for each. each of these padded sets. Yes. That would be delightful. Okay. We also need a holster for this this young man's uh, javelins, <laughs> if you have something of the sort. Uh, I think I have a... I think I have something that may work. Nice. And he kind of goes bags. around the corner <laughs> and comes back with a, a leather bag that uh, resembles a quiver. And has a buckle on it. Um, perfect for the occasion. How much is that, sir? Oh, I think I could let this go for two gold. Perfect. Uh, and do you have any backpacks for sale? Oh, that's good. Backpacks. I uh, may be clean out of those. Uh, would you mind waiting just a few moments while I go take a look in the back and see if I 
have any that haven't been claimed? No problem. Getting a Hello Kitty backpack. Nice. <laughs> Want <some pink>? <laughs> Wish. <laughs> As you uh, wait for him in the back, you kind of look around the shop and you see that there's not much on the shelves. He's right, and most of his inventory is cleared out. You see some bridles and some tack for horses. Do um, I see some whips. a leather trench coat? You do not. Damn it! <laughs> That's trying to be new. He comes back with a uh, two uh, backpacks in his hand, and he says, somehow I had these in the bottom of a crate, Amazing. Uh, they're dusty, and he like Probably not worth them much. and <laughs> shakes off the dust, and he's like, I could probably let these go for two gold each. Perfect. Uh, does anyone need anything else? Uh, do you have any leather armor? I am at a severe disadvantage in stealth when it comes to this padded, but I know leather is quite pricey. I do have one set, and you're very right about it being pricey, especially in these times. After last night, I expect to have a mad rush on this place. I haven't quite finished one of the pieces, but I can certainly have it done by the end of the day. It would depend on what you're willing to pay for. Damn, you're good. <laughs> hmm. Well, what do you typically charge? Or a full complete set that not a rush job. Well, about fifteen gold is what I would normally charge, but the rush job and you know what we'll be going through here today, I'm gonna ask for twenty. Are you sure I can't convince you on the typical price? I mean, you will endure a rush, but we are, after all very grateful that we could protect you and the townsfolk <laughs> during such a critical moment. Yes, we are all very lucky that you were there. Uh, roll persuasion. Oh, yeah. Ian almost died. <laughs> he almost died. 24. Die. Birdman had to eat his parents. Come on. If I remember correctly, <laughs> weren't you the talented young man that played those jigs for us? Who? Me? Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I might be willing to let this set go to such a hero if you could leave me with a lasting ditty that I can impress the boys down at the tavern with after you're gone. I will, of course, be telling them it's mine. <laughs> okay, well, how about this? You get that rush job done, and when I come back, I'll have a little poem that you can you know, spoken word, if you will, and the ditty will be ready uh, uh, this evening when I come back to collect the, the leather. Hmm. Fifteen gold, then? Well, I mean, the ditty is going to be very good. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm willing to go to twelve. Twelve it is, and I look at my friends for five gold. I give you the, f <laughs> well, I would give you the four for your padded, say. So that's four. Four, so I need one gold from maybe Eros? I give you a high five and say, you're the man. <laughs> <laughs> and I take the gold out. I'm just, I'm just I kidding. Give it, I give him the gold. Yeah. Thank you so much. I will be broke, you know. Nice. Oh, but this means, oh shit, I have another set of patterns. <laughs> Wait, so it was four for the padded? So can yeah. I just give her <laughs> the one off padded. my back? Okay. I'll take the two off my back, and she gets three, if that's okay. And then... Hey, you give my gold back? I give you the gold back, yeah, and I, now I'm broke. Okay. So Thank do you, you still everybody. take gold from Jean? Just one, I think. No, it would be... Because if Jean does accept the trade, I would have to take the gold from Jean, because... Um... But you are pulling a hidden set of padded He's leather taking armor. it off his body, going naked, and then putting on the leather once he gets it. 
Yes. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. I yeah, thought yeah. you had a secret set or something. That no, you I'm wearing a set, but now I can just wear like a shirt and some undies. Or Are you sure okay, that Birdman that your 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 padded armor isn't wor worth more than the other padded armors because <laughs> it was worn at a famous concert before uh, an incident? You should ask if he wants it signed. <laughs> My smile indicates. Stop it! You're not as persuasive as me. <laughs> <laughs> he says, "I'll yeah. take that one two off of your back for another four. Noise. Thank you. Um, and I will wear like, I think, out of the stuff from yesterday, there was like an extra shirt. Can I make it like some sort of band that nobody like like?" <laughs> It's like an off filter band or like rap group or whatever. Well, he says, uh, I have some things that you may be able to uh, cover yourself with here. Allow me just a moment. In the meantime? Oh, okay. All right. So I just need some shorts. Otherwise, the, the, the mayor just, might like, not deal with us. Back on. <laughs> he comes it's back with a. Clown posse shirt. <laughs> he comes back with Please. a crate. Yeah. <laughs> and I want you to. Uh... <laughs> you have to dress as a juggler right. from now on. <laughs> I wear the make. I have a disguise. <laughs> yeah. <building>. Perfect. <laughs> there are no I want you to roll investigation. Investigation. As you look through the crate that he's brought you. Oh, no. 19. Damn. Oh, Hello Kitty Batman. <laughs> so in the crate, you find a set of tights. Mm, oh, nope. Yes. Okay. One leg is red, one leg is white. Damn. What? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Better than my fucking rainbow toe socks. I'm getting ICP, aren't I? It is the only uh, lower half of the body clothing that you find. Nice. And that was a good roll. <laughs> you uh, you also find a leather, studded leather vest mm. my favorite <laughs> and the rest is just uh, like mismatched gloves and a handkerchief can I ask you guys that play D&D &D yeah. Yeah. what would be the lowest armor that I could get medium armor that would be like 15 AC anything higher than what do you have 14 I have 14 um, what's your dex my dex is modifier of one. One? So uh, pretty much nothing. You could wear half plate, which is technically medium armor, which is 15 plus dex mod. But yeah, but that's hundreds of, of gold, two, isn't it? It's 700 gold. <laughs> yeah, so anything right now with it under 20 gold, no. But You're scale mail much... would, would work, right? Yep. Scale mail scale would, mail, be, yeah. Yeah, 14 would plus be 50 not gold. Not right? yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, but that, that would be the next... Milestone, right? Yep. For me, yeah. Would be scale mail. If you yeah, if you feel comfortable with disadvantage to dex. Why would I get disadvantage? Because it's heavy armor. Fourteen. No, it's not. It's, it's not medium. Heavy. Oh, medium. my mistake. Um. I yeah, think... it's whatever you want. If if it, if it works for you, I think sometimes there's mail negatives. Has, scale mail has disadvantage on stealth checks. Yeah. So does half. Oh, scale mail has disadvantage on stealth checks. Yeah. Yeah. That's what. Um. I was okay. Well. Just so I know, um, would they sell that here? Or would they sell that at the the blacksmith? Maybe blacksmith probably. Probably the blacksmith. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, Perfect. I'm just gonna ask, just in case. Do you happen to have any uh, scale mail here? I just want to take a look and. Beam. Unfortunately, I do not. Thank you. Thank you so much for your hospitality, sir. You're very welcome. I appreciate the uh, help in restocking. Of course. We shall be on our way. More goods <laughs> we left with less. Uh, who, who gets the backpacks? Uh, who, who, I'm not going to take one against them. G should get a backpack because he has Did anyone in particular pay for them? Uh, I, we pay for G them with the, the pad, but uh, I know Harry wants one, so give one to him and I'll just wear the other one. It's fine. Thank Perfect. you. I just wanted to make sure everybody had one. You weren't double backpacking. <laughs> Thank so you. do we have four backpacks? Or no, just two. We have two. You just just have two. two. Okay, just two. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, and do I need to add that that uh, quiver or whatever to my card? Should I add that? Is just that add an item? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just in case it ever comes up again. Probably just add quiver. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. Uh, market next, everyone. To the market. 
Oh, the you the leave the leather worker shop and immediately uh, see the market to your right. There are some empty stalls. There's only one oh. person there. Um, there's a woman setting up a fruits and vegetable stall. Um, she's still in the process of setting everything up and you recognize her as the man's wife from the leather working shop, the woman that you were speaking with last night. You got this one, Hey! Yo. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? It's you! And she, <laughs> she turns and, uh, get her. Is sober her gonna be as friendly as drunk her? I hope so. <laughs> Sometimes not. Uh, she turns to look at you, and, and I'm uh, really excited. I got like a big smile on my face, like, like she instantly you know, recognizes you, and she says, "Oh, good morning." It isn't the heroes of the wedding. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Um, I'm I'm so happy that uh, we just saw your husband, and I'm hope happy both of you are okay this this after last night. Yes, much thanks to you both. It seems we were having a little too much fun. Got caught unawares, but I knew yeah. there was something special about you folks. <laughs> she yeah, kind of pinches Jean's, she reaches out and pinches Jean's cheek and then goes back to stacking fruit. You're in, Who's bro. Doing... <laughs> I mean, um, uh, do you know her name? What the fuck just yes. happened? My roll 20 just closed. Do we know sorry. her name? You never introduced yourselves. Really? God, we're so rude. <laughs> I'm sorry, um, we, we were so drunk point, last night, I don't even think we got to introduce ourselves. My, I my will tell Gail. you that she, you notice as she bends over. Um, Whoa, her, look away, girl. <laughs> her hair kind of falls away from her uh, sides of her head. I don't know what is going on with my roll. I catch the wig. <laughs> Um, you notice her hair kind of uh, slides away and she puts it behind her ear and that you notice that the tips of her ears are pointed. Oh, and, gross. And that she is elvish. She's also the first and only black character that you have run into yet. Oh, okay. And, uh... I introduced myself as uh, Gil, and uh, apologized for for being so rude the other night and not introducing myself previously. Oh, that's all right, sweetheart. And she uh, holds her hand out for you to take it and kind of slightly curtsies, and she's like, "My name is Mary, Mary Edgley." <laughs> Mary Edgley. Her name was actually Mary before you said that shit. I thought she was married to Derek Stash. Yep. She is married to Derek Stash. Oh, okay. It's, it's, it's a pleasure to meet you, and I, I uh, kiss her hand. <laughs> like uh, Men in Tights style? Night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking gross. <laughs> oh, man. It looks, like, it looks like you have a, a wide variety of goods here. Uh, could you maybe show us around your selection? Oh, of course. Have you yet had your breakfast? Um, we've had some a little bit of tea over at the bakery, and uh, I think we oh, had I a... Oh, I bet they took good care of you over there. She yes. chuckled. I'm a little curious of the chuckle, but... Um, yes, yes, it was nice. Not as nice as uh, your, your, your lovely market here, but quite nice. Well, isn't he the charmer? She says as she looks at Jean and winks. She takes you to a table that is stacked with jars. Uh, she says, over here we have uh, some of my famous jellies and jams. And we have a couple of my homemade vinegars. And, of course, my blackberry wine. What? All of these great for travel. What, uh... What jam would you recommend for this loaf we got from the bakery? Oh. Just a regular loaf? Yes, ma'am. I would say the raspberry jam is the freshest, and uh, put a little pep in your step. I infuse it with lemon. 
Sounds great. We'll, uh, we'll take one. And she uh, hands you the small jam jar and she says, that's on the house for saving us. Oh, there you go. <laughs> what else can I get you? And she takes you to another table and it's laden with like apples and uh, different produce, fruits and vegetables. And there are small um, cloth sacks with strings tied around them. And she's like, in here we have some of my husband's jerky. Cool. Um, I'm a meat eater, so uh, I'm interested in, in some of that jerky. What what what's a, what, what, what would uh, some of this jerky go for? Well, this is very rare caribou jerky. Oh, yeah. The caribou. So about, like, one seven. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. Gil's never left the woods, so I have no idea. Well, how much are you wanting? You want a large stash? Do you want a small stash? That was enough for us all for the road. Sorry, I'm really trying to focus, but Honeybee is, like, blasting my arms off my what would, keyboard. What would you guys recommend for, like, jerky would last, right? We could have it if we ever needed to eat it, so... Yeah, I'm sure we could get some jerky, some like dried fruit or something, and that would last us for a while, however far the next town is. Yeah, so like a small Well, stash if you're or... looking for travel food, I have a couple of sacks here of hardtack and oh, some dried fruit as well. What do you say there, Harry? You're more seasoned than I. Well, you can put the hard tack in a soup, and it makes a lovely thickening. Uh, the dried fruit, of course, is always lovely. Jerky, lovely. All in all, some very solid choices here. Okay, well, uh, what if we got a little bit of, of, of each, a little bit of variety? A small order of the uh, jerky, the dried fruit, and the tack. One satchel of each? Yeah, small satchels. Uh, five silver. And, and the satchels are, are two pounds each. Oh, perfect. Okay. All right, and I hand over the five silver. It's five silver each. So uh, yeah, sorry, sorry, 15. You... Gail is not really great with the math, okay? <laughs> yes. Gail or Ares? <laughs> One and the same, baby. Both, yes. Yeah. He's, he's, really, he's really role-playing. It's such a pleasure to see you all here this morning. You may want to stop back later in the afternoon in case any of the other ladies show, but I wouldn't count on it. It's been slim pickings lately, and after last night, I think everyone's a little afraid to roam the streets. Um, so. Mary, you're the, the other stalls that come here. Would any sell uh, more uh, magical supplies like, uh, you know, incense and that and that sort of thing well sometimes burns wife will come and have a stall she mostly sells flowers um but sometimes she will have alchemical supplies but ever since the fire she hasn't really left her home that often so i wouldn't count on it appreciate the information and I want to take a break so we can feed the dogs and everybody else can do whatever they need to. Ten oh. minutes. Okay, dokey. Okay. okay. Um, guys, I want to give one of these satchels, like, I don't want to hold all the food, so does one person want to hold the tack and one person want to hold the drive fruit? Yeah, I'll carry your bag. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I'll just give all the food over to one of you guys then. All right, Harry, do you want the food or should I take it? I shall take the food. Okay. Gary doesn't right. trust you after the bakery incident with food. <laughs> he don't, won't tell you that. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Like, no, just no, no, I have a backpack. In the bag. It just makes no, practical sense. No, no, I sense. insist. Well? All right, break time. It's break. break time. Okay. I'm going to grab a second.
What was your saying when I left?
I'm back. I have no idea what time it is or what time we were supposed to be back, but I'm back. Hey there, Erez. Yeah, I'm back. So, uh, I was just going to say that um, it's either going to be the armor worker, uh, the leather workers, or the blacksmith, because either uh -huh. the blacksmith sold the leather worker to the studs, or the leather worker sold the armor to the blacksmith who put in the studs. Okay. Takes both of them. Yeah, yeah. Make it. Yep. Mm. Uh, and we have about two minutes, Cricket, before we're supposed to be back. Did you did you see the the build or the kind of track I was thinking for my build that I laid out there? Uh, I, I did see it. I just didn't uh, read it very much. Um, okay. Let me see. Where is it? Okay. I was wondering if, what you thought if it kind of looked all right or yeah. is it medium armor? Because I'm pretty sure it's medium, right? Yeah, it's medium. So yeah. leather is light. So I feel like blacksmiths work with that shit. Yeah, probably. Because it scales, right? Well, when I looked it up, it said like fish scales or something like that. But... Yeah, but it's still like metal working. Yeah, yeah okay. I, one or the other, yeah. I mean, it's uh, pretty much leather reinforced with like metal kind of thing. Right, exactly. That's what I initially thought, but then I read the description but on uh, Roll20, so. Yeah. I was just going to say the build seems, seems pretty good. Um, I wouldn't change much. Uh, Great Weapon Master is obviously really good with reckless attack, so yeah. it's like busted. I'd probably just do strength instead of con. And you, yeah, I but agree. You, you never have to you take any strength. of them. Spring yeah, because fire. you're gonna you're gonna always try to hit things, and if you're gonna be like level twelve, being like fuck, I can't hit things, it kind of gets a little bit depressing sometimes. But okay. It is what it is. You can just build whatever you want. No, no, no. I mean, no. I appreciate the advice. I mean, I've never played before, so that's why I'm yeah. asking. And also the strength. So when you roll reckless attack, which is pretty much gonna be almost every attack you do, they have advantage to hit you. So it doesn't really matter what your armor class is. Uh, so. That rules out Dex, and then mm -hmm. Con obviously is fine to have more health because uh, it's retroactive. So when you get your Con, like plus one or whatever, you get to add it uh, for every level you are as well. Oh, okay. That's, so I was thinking Con early because it would, you know, you would get the benefit of it sooner rather than later. But right. I didn't know it was retroactive. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. It just it's just a number times your level. And then. Okay. As far as choosing between feats and uh, skill points, there are some feats that give skill points. Like mm -hmm. They give you one, like plus one strength, but if you get two feats Athlete. that are plus one strength, you know what I mean, yeah. it kind of adds up. Orcish Fury is, gives like plus one. Yeah. Yeah, it's any feat will give you like a plus one, just because the ASI is the only thing that can give you a plus two. Yeah. Okay. But then you can also f uh, consider that if you never want to level up your strength, you can do that because there are magic items like a belt of giant strength, which gives you 18 mm -hmm. strength. Just mm -hmm. no matter what your strength is, it just gives you 18. Mm -hmm. um, so you could like, rather than leveling up your skills, you could just get magic items to kind of compensate. Yeah. That was another reason I was kind of thinking like maybe go, I, I know I want to go great what master. I didn't know if I wanted to go sooner or later. But I thought if I took it sooner and then later I found, like, you know, something that gave me, like, you know, set my strength at 19, you know, then if I had put in, knocked it up to 18, that would make no difference for me, you know? Yeah. Wait, is eight, isn't 18 the cusp? For what? 18 uh, would be... The hill, hill giant strength. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. No, I, I can't remember what the plus 4, plus 5 is. Oh, no, it's, it's every uh, even number. Yeah, so 20 yeah, would so be plus 5. Yeah, so 18... 20, 16, 18, 20. Yep. Yeah, I'd go Grey Weapon because you already have the advantage from Reckless, so even if someone says, well, mathematically you're losing out on, like, plus one, blah, 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 you could be like, well, advantage adds on average plus five, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I'm, I'm going Totem Barb as well to give me more resistance to, like, magic and stuff like that, so the only thing that yeah. should, I should have resistance to everything except for Psychic, so most things would be halved, that's my yeah. thought as well. Well, that's a good uh, acknowledgement because that's the only reason why I would switch the con is like <laughs> you don't really need health at that point. You have the you already have all the tank. Yeah. 
Like having resistance to everything is kind of crazy. That's broken. But I'm, I mean, also I was thinking originally there was going to be two tanks, and I didn't know how tanky I need to be. But now I'm going to be pretty much the primary tank. So. I mean, yeah. Just keep in mind you're not always getting hit with a weapon, right? She could just hit you with a fireball, and or like you don't have yeah. any dexterity. What if we? Uh, I don't want to say. Well, he not gets you, advantage. I, mean, that, you know. I just but didn't. Zeno I just mean like. Come back yeah. and they're still laying in the barn. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the, they have full plate armor on them, just saying. Yeah, true. I mean, if we abused it, it's like... If plate mail is like, <laughs> is like 1,500 gold, right? So. Yeah, no, I don't think that would work. I'm just joking. Honestly, I'm not too much... No, I'm pulling that stuff. armor, so... I'm pulling Honest, the stuff off of them. Given how much you gave us in the first... Yeah, giving that, I was like, damn, you really <laughs> like Xeno. I had a plan for it, so... Oh, that it. plan uh, is... It was cursed! <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Uh, did um, we decide who was carrying that food? Because I was going to say I could just put it in my back. Harry, I got Harry, okay, Harry said, uh, you have all three sets. Yes, sir. Yep. Okay. Noise. It's all in there. Don't try and eat hard tack or just plain. No, thank you. Please. If you value your dental health. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, are you are insulting Mary's hard tack? No, I'm insulting hard tack as a concept. <laughs> True. So uh, now everyone's back. Did we want to head to the the manor or the church or what are we thinking? Go straight to the manor. We have yeah. the fresh baked goods and stuff. Yep. My apologies. Did uh, did we go to the butcher? No. No. Uh, I mean, shit. We might as well go to the butcher if we're gonna. I, to the butcher. I wow. mean, we zigzag around. We might as well hit the butcher. Harry's just following y'all, y'all of the many, so he goes to you. <laughs> See Gravy's role playing a bird on top of the blacksmith. <laughs> Does Damn, Gravy you have everything. call every morning? Like a rooster? Um... I'm I'm just saying, I can see the full thing here, and I'm a little worried about what I see in the bottom left-hand room. Oh, that's a dead body. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Where Gail doesn't now? see it. Gail yeah. doesn't see it, but I'm just saying. That could be anything. <laughs> I guess the front's over here, actually. I'm going to roll have perception. You seen, uh, <laughs> have you seen the Great North? Nope. No. No. Oh, well, then the reference would be completely meaningless. <laughs> <laughs> But basically, they their town celebrated uh, the fact that they avoided ca cannibalism. No, they had their town had to use cannibalism as a means to survive in the past, and every year they celebrate not being cannibals anymore. <laughs> and the whole plot of the episode was one person got to bake a cake for the town's people to eat, and the person who baked the cake that year decided to make it person shaped <laughs> to acknowledge the past gross no, if I'm remembering the episode it's probably right. yes it's a cake <laughs> <laughs> it's a cake cake <laughs> nothing else probably strawberry cake I ring the I bell on the strawberry camera. cake bling bling and you uh you see kind of a hulking uh, man, average stature as far as height goes, uh, but just muscle on top of muscle on top of muscle. Dibs. Uh, turn <laughs> with uh, blades in both of his hands, a uh, cleaver in the left, and a carving blade in the right, uh, turn to look at you. He uh, says, just a moment and sits his uh, cleaver down and continues with the uh, carving blade and comes up and says, ah, how, how can I help you? 
Um, I was hoping you had uh, bacon for sale. Of course. Is it, How I, much would you like? Uh, not, not a heap. Uh, just wondering if you can or it is already cooked. Uh, I have some smoked. Perfect. Um, I'll take, I don't know, like a pound, I guess, if, if you got it. Uh, it's three gold a pound. Are you okay with that? Damn. Yep. All right. I will take it. <laughs> Wait, can this live? And he this uh, live? wraps up the smoked bacon for you. Appreciate it. I think I can hunt and kill an animal if we need. <laughs> we need some bacon to go with our jam and bread. smoked and salted, <laughs> seasoned. It's kind of hilarious because if you knew G in real life, he literally can't live without bacon, eggs, and toast. Yep. <laughs> He's done a lot better about it lately, but... When I was living by myself, I used to eat it every single morning for breakfast, and I'd make double so I could have it for lunch. <laughs> Because I was too lazy to make lunch for work. I think Sheena would do that with hash browns if he would. If Ooh, he could. delicious. Good so choice. <laughs> do you have the three gold you need, Jen? Yep. Okay. Anybody else? I think Is that that's all? Food for a while. I think, I think I'm, I'm good, okay. but I, I do want to introduce myself. My name is Gil. What is your name? I'm talking to the butcher. Kind of looks at you like strangely and like froze his brow a little bit. <laughs> Jesus, Bark. pig, you scared me. Fuck me. Yon, Yon Stacy. I'd yeah. shake your hand, bud. He's got like blood dried all over his fucking hands. It's very disgusting. <laughs> Not clean at all. Delicious. Oh. D no, 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 no problem at all. I, I just, uh, Wanted to introduce myself and and thank you for your uh, sales. Of course. If there's anything else I can get, you don't hesitate to come back. Thank you. Uh, can I use this table for a sec? Which table? Uh, just the one below us. Sure. Thank you. Put his name on our list of potential demon summons. <laughs> kind of goes goes back through the dual doors that swing and. Uh, I approach Birdman very menacingly and then take the bread from him. <laughs> and then I make everybody bacon and jam sandwiches. Hooray! Yay! <laughs> I will never say no to a bacon sandwich, and if I do, kill me. Can I, <laughs> can I smell the bacon and just make sure it's actually pork? <laughs> I appreciate you getting pork. <laughs> <laughs> Can I check it, Cricket? Can I make sure this is actually what we think it is? It's long it's pork. The, the pork? <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm a little worried about it. Uh... Roll perception. Okay. Eight. Damn! You uh, inspect it. It appears to be... Just regular fat back bacon. Delicious. It smells nice. You take a little yeah. tiny bite out of it, it tastes like bacon. Perfect. Yes. yes, this is good. I think we're okay, guys. Bacon. I eat my sandwich as I leave. Yep. I, nod to I the thank Jeannie for, for his wonderful idea. <laughs> and, and really enjoy the the bacon and jam sandwich, which is, again, nothing like I've ever had in my life. <laughs> now, that's the butcher question. Sure. You'll have to ring the bell again to get his attention. Uh, I will. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> he kind of peeks back uh, through the doors and sees it. So you guys, yes, change your mind? Uh, no, you're right. It is, isn't it? And he looks at the smiles on all your faces and, uh... That's great! His name was Yor or Yon? Yon. Yon. Y-O-N. Y-O-N. Um, Yon, do you speak any other languages? Why do you ask? <laughs> I'm just interested in seeing how diverse the community here is. If you don't have an order, I think, uh, I think it's time for you to go. 
uh, turns I just around wondered... and walks back uh, through the doors. So you don't speak Abyssal? By chance? <laughs> nope, guess not. Mm. You clearly offended him. <laughs> <laughs> Asking him questions like that in his own shop out of nowhere. <laughs> we had him happy with the bacon. What'd you do, Birdman? <laughs> I don't know, man. Well, You're supposed to be the charming one. I just price. want to put that out there. Uh, I could I determine his like, you know, obviously the it's like I'm trying to insight people, but it's just more of like a. Ring the you know, bell again. Is he like rude about it? <laughs> he how pissed off he yeah, is on the third time. All. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll ring the bell again. Ring the bell again. Uh, yeah, ding, 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 Disadvantage. <laughs> A 17. Really? Go. Go, go, go. Go eat. How is Birdman this convincing? <clears throat> well, why Seven. do you want to know, first of all? I mean, this is the story you've got. Come in my shop. I, I'm grateful for your patronage, but you know I'm very busy here. And you're asking me personal questions. Why is it so important for you to know how diverse our community is? It's more of a favor to the mayor, if anything. You do business with him, right? So the mayor sent you here to ask me these questions? The mayor has an interest in us asking questions, yes. Uh, roll persuasion. What? Roll persuasion. Okay, one roll. 17 again. You did a <laughs> persuasion check last time? With disadvantage. Oh, I wanted you just to roll flat charisma. Oh, my mistake. That would have been, um, I have Minus a plus two. five, so plus three, so 15 would have been the yeah. higher. Yeah, so okay, 15. It's fine both ways. And then 17. But yeah, good catch. I appreciate that. I, uh, I speak Elvin. Oh. Well, my apologies. I know that there is some, you know, ambiguity in how we treat elves, but we would never treat you that way. I'm more interested in... How do you treat elves? I mean, pretty much everybody around here speaks elven. I wouldn't say that I treat them any... You got a problem with that? ...negative way, but I have seen elves treated poorly in some places, yes. Mm, That's really too bad. Uh, If you don't have any more questions, I I really do need to get back to work. I, I got meat spoiling in the back here. Yeah, no I worries. I like to offer a quality product. You don't know anybody who speaks uh, exotic languages like Abyssal? You may try uh, the priest up there at the tent. Okay, well, thank There's you, all Jan. kinds of weird stuff. You are not only a scholar, but a saint or a gentleman. Like, <laughs> kind of like tips an invisible cap at you with his bloody fingers and heads back through the door. Cool, cool, cool. Was, that was sarcasm. Can I roll to see if it was a visible fedora? Honeybee, where are you? <laughs> <laughs> a guy butchering with a fedora. <laughs> yes, sir. That'd be fucking great. <laughs> I would never go back. <laughs> <laughs> well, power too. Okay, so then the last place in our minds is the church tent, church lab. Yeah. The manor. I think we. And need- then the manor, of course. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to go to the church thing? Is this the one that burnt down? Yes, that's why he's yes. in a tent. That's why he's in a tent. Yeah, okay, cool. I mean, we sh- we have to talk to him, right? So. I think Gene needs to talk to him for sure. And Harry's probably interested in maybe any books or things he was able to save from the church. and Well, you know, just in general, what happened to the church. So, yeah, we got a lot to talk to him. Yeah. yeah. Dang, it it's looks like... like we got a mystery on our hands. <laughs> roo <Roar, roar. laughs> But I'm also That's wondering racist. if we go to the mayor if he'll assign us to do this kind of stuff, you know, but it's Well, just how, we, we like never know what the mayor may be up to either, right? Yeah, so, yeah, we can always go back. It's not a big deal. Not to say that he is or okay. isn't, I just mean 
demons attacked him in the middle of the night and his children, so clearly somebody's important here. It was me. And it's not us. <laughs> what? <laughs> to the tent. To the tent. To the tent. I need to be cut it out. <laughs> Got her. Oh my god, this bitch. You fucking bitch. Just kidding, sir. <laughs> she is a bitch. <laughs> she kind of is the biggest yeah. bitch of a dog you've ever no, met in your do, life. Yeah, I do have a dog. It's a I, say, I, have to, I have to express her bitchiness. <laughs> she like, keeps putting her nose under my wrist and flipping my arms up. Because she knows I'm trying Aww. to like do shit on the computer. And she's like hungry, right? But I fed her and put her food downstairs. But she doesn't want it because she knows that we have leftover wing stuff. Oh... And she keeps trying to get to it. It's a smart dog. And she will tear food off the counters, out of the fridge, like everywhere. And we're upstairs, and I'm trying to keep her from being downstairs. So, but if I keep her up here, she just keeps bothering me. She won't actually eat her dog food. Go ahead and leave her. Next time, though. So you guys are going to the tent, you said? Yeah, church guy, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think all of y'all have something like you want to talk to him about a vessel. We cool. we all have. Well, except for me, I don't really have a point of entry. <laughs> I mean, honestly, the problem he might be the only person who could possibly speak a vessel in terms of like church people are educated. You know, yeah, I was gonna we kind of go by some like you. ideas. Yeah. yeah. He might know something about the moon cars. Yeah. yeah. Maybe he's upset about his church being burned down. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not upset in terms of like, oh, that sucks. But oh, wow, like, this is the tent. Revengeful. I think it's the burnt down church. Oh. So, you guys kind of trudge up the hill, and you can see uh, down, yeah. the uh, smoke oh. still kind of uh, clung to the air, although nothing is still burning. Everything is charred. And moistened with uh, precipitation, dew. Everything is kind of burnt to rubble except for some half walls of stone around the outside of the church and stairs. Mm -hmm. uh, you see a small tent, uh, which is really not a tent, it's more of an awning beside the. Philip? Sorry. Philip's trying to escape now. Jesus fucking Christ. You see, like, an awning and, uh, you see a couple of tables set up with glass jars and uh, things hanging all around it. And there's a, a bed roll. And uh, you see a man in white robes that are visibly smudged and tarnished, muddy with dirt around the base, uh, working. He kind of looks up to see you guys approaching and uh, starts wiping his hands to uh, meet you. Was he was he at the uh, the wedding the other night? Who was not? Be aware of us. No. One of Just you guys. Welcome, took welcome. Us off. <laughs> uh, G, do you want to go for it? Sure. Good day, sir. My name is Jean. Uh, good good day to you. Uh, I had a Any, few. Uh, Holds out his hand. I kiss him. Uh, Iwa, Iwa, his up. I, what was that? Iwa, his his up. Iwa, his up. Iwa. Okay. I uh, take his hand, bow, and kiss it. <laughs> he does not seem phased at all. You notice um, around the sides of his. Uh, cloak that have kind of uh, slid down. He has shorter hair. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> shorter uh, silvery hair. And he has very defined elfin ears. Nice. Um, so I wanted to ask you, sir, uh, a couple questions. Uh, do you happen to speak Abyssal by chance? Uh, no. No, I don't. Appreciate I that. always wanted to learn, though. Well, let us Why know do you ask? You. Could uh, I ask it for his truthfulness? Like, could I determine that? <laughs> I yeah, know I'm being I'm annoying, fine. but I'm just... No, it's fine. Roll insight. Thank you. Uh, and then at this time, I will 
Ooh, I'm just gonna roll flat. Uh, only an eight. But I will whistle and give G a bardic inspiration for a d6. Cheers, if he needs it later. D65. Nice. D6. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can I also try to inside him? Excuse me. Yes. Nice. Is that blank? Oh, it was blank. It was like a 16. Is that prior to or? What do you mean? Including, uh, including the, the inspiration? inspiration? No, that's just flat. Okay. So you can tell um, just by his body language and enthusiasm that he's definitely telling the truth. Okay. His eyes are twinkling and excited to even have someone to talk about a this language with. <laughs> In this awesome. town, yeah. Weird. <laughs> Uh, what brings you here with such questions? We're on some kind, uh, some sort of fact-finding mission. We kind of uh, found ourselves in a peculiar situation, and we're trying to put the pieces together. I can't say that I'm surprised, given the recent events. You must be the travelers that uh, fought off the wedding mains last night, I've heard about. Indeed, sir. That's kind of why we're asking about Abyssal. We, uh found some writing and we weren't sure who could read it really do you think i could take a look at it of course yeah i think i gave you the scrap sheet yeah yeah maybe awesome. warn him not to say the word <laughs> well he can't read it so it's fine yeah yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 i pass it to him so he can read it or whatever uh he picks it up and he looks at it and you know tries to turn it you know, left and right, and squint his eyes, and nope. I thought maybe, you know, something would happen. And, uh, <laughs> as he gets ready to kind of hand it back to you, he kind of, like, half burps, like, like, gags, and he turns, like, an ashen color, and, uh... Oh, God. Ooh, Killed he hands it to you, and he's, uh, visibly sick, and he's, excuse me, and he kind of rushes off, uh, to the back of the tent, and, uh, throws up. You okay, sir? Oh, no. Kicking and spitting and, uh... Did we just... Did we alien him? <laughs> uh, Excuse me, are I'm you... sorry. I just... I haven't been feeling myself lately. It's probably all of the smoke I've inhaled up here and it's huh. sleeping outside. It's very rude of me. I apologize. No problem. I hope you're okay. We don't have any water to give him. We should have <laughs> no. bought water skin. Yeah, we should have. He, uh, he says, uh, if, if you don't mind, and he kind of waves over towards uh, one of the unburnt sections of stairs uh, leading up to the back of the church, um, and sits down on him, and he carries a flask with him. Nice. And he's uh, sipping on it, and uh, he points to a bottle on the end of the table, and he says, uh, I've got some more there if you'd like to refresh yourselves. It's uh, blackberry wine. Damn! Mary's blackberry wine no thank you <laughs> how much of that have you been drinking oh and he chuckles I don't uh, I don't partake like oh. that just just enough to keep me warm up here indeed um, I did have some other questions for you uh, um, go ahead I'll do I'll do my best how uh, sorry let me rephrase that. Um, so, I have seen, I don't have on me so I can't show you, uh, some playing cards that only had pictures on their face. Uh, they didn't have any numbers or any other markings on them. Have you heard of something like that before? No, but it sounds terribly interesting. <laughs> okay. We'll take that as well. Well, the knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> um... Uh, and I also wanted to ask uh, what you recall of the night the uh, church burned down. Mm, tragic. Indeed. He kind of seems lost in thought for a moment as he's remembering. Well, we had just finished our gathering for the day, harvesting some of the flowers in the garden 
It's herb season, you see. And, uh, I had stayed up a little late hanging them up. And... I just drifted off to sleep very late. And, uh... I got a faint smell of smoke, and I thought maybe it was just... Some of the dust from fields of my clothes for a second, and then I realized I was half asleep, and got a stronger smell, mm. and followed the smoke uh, downstairs to see the pews in the main portion of the church alight. Mm. I grabbed as much as I could from the uh, center days and and ran out and tried to ring the bell but it's so far down the hill lesson learned there but I was just great. so so much in shock from uh, who would burn a church great question he seems really like visibly upset yeah did anything uh, s strange happen at all that you can think of maybe the day before the week before, that kind of thing? Well, there were the barn burnings, of course, of and course. everyone was surprised by that, and then you know about the barn burnings? Yes, sir. We're aware. We don't have gen you know, de details, but we are aware of in general what happened. Yes, uh, Barnes is burned. Barnes burned. Uh, and he kind of is like slowing down, and uh, mm. is his speech visibly slows, and he's uh, his head is kind of drooping, and mm. there's like saliva starting to kind of like come out of his mouth. Is he okay? okay? Can I check? <laughs> Can I hold him up? Roll a medicine check. Nice. So. Good you job. can see that he's, uh, he's not okay. Like, he's visibly, like, very sick. What would appear to be, like, a stroke or, um, even so much as a poisoning. He's ashen gray. He's very, yeah. very uh, pale. His pupils are very dilated. He's drooling. His speech has come to a complete stop. He's... Did this happen as soon as we gave him the scroll? Yes. He said he hadn't been feeling well, though. So I don't know if this happened before or after that. Yeah. I think that we infected him. He... He kind of starts to blink and says, I, I apologize. I'm just not feeling so well. His speech returns to him, uh... Have you been feeling unwell for a while, or has this happened before? Only since the, uh, only since the incident here at the church. I just have not been taking the best care of myself. Um, what were you asking me? Nothing. Have you eaten today? Hmm. Hmm. Good point. I pull out a bacon sandwich with jam on it. Ah. Right. You hungry, sir? He takes a couple bites of it, and he... His eyes brighten up a little bit, and he looks at you, and he's like, hmm, like while he's chewing, like, yeah. Where'd awesome. you get this? I made it myself. Magic. Good. And he, uh, he looks a little bit <clears throat> better. Good. Uh, I point he, to the... Uh, Sorry, go ahead. No, he just sits up a little bit straighter. He's, he's still sitting, though. He, he doesn't seem to have the strength to stand yet. I uh, point at mm. the table with all the stuff wrapped up on it. And I ask, uh, you didn't happen to have a spell focus in that pile of stuff, sir? Well, uh, I'm afraid, it, you know, most important items burned up. Uh, there may be a, uh, there may be a quill in there that you may be able to use. I, I don't necessarily need it, but it has been passed down through the generations of the clergy here. Great source of magical 
uh, power, I've been told. So I'd be willing to part with that. Amazing. We'll cherish it. I pass it to Harry. I, I greatly appreciate the sandwich. Harry bows deeply. We're going to make a <laughs> trade here. Um, I want to ask him a question. Uh, uh, sir, I, I know it's been about a month now since the, the church burned down and, and you've kind of stayed with the church here. Um, in that time, have you noticed anything inside the church that maybe was missing or anything off or strange or anything? Well, this note? church is a, a special very special institution. Not many like it left in the province. It's not so much a place of worship as it is a research facility. The people have long strayed away from feeling the need to gather. We occasionally use it for weddings and for different celebrations, but it's mostly just me and my work here, and occasionally our Lord Mayor. Um, not much different in the day-to-day. -day. Uh, we go through the same process of the seasons in collecting our, our plants and writing reports cool. and sending them off to be tested in the city. Uh, so not much different here. I did notice, now that you mention it, I didn't think too much to connect these, but... There was a, a morning about a week prior to the church burning that I went out into the garden and just one of nine crops, nine crops of hyssop had been harvested. Oh, hmm. what was that? Hyssop? Hyssop, my namesake. Hyssop. Yes. It's like a flower. Hyssop. And, uh... What kind I of properties does growing does hyssop have? here? Does that have any properties to it, priest? Oh, hyssop is a very, very beneficial plant. We are doing many studies on it. What have you Often learned so far? Often used for folk medicine. It's oh. great for stimulation of circulation and can be used for respiratory illness, cough, sore throat, intestinal infections. Uh, many medicinal properties. It, very uh, sworn by for its antiviral properties. Uh, a new new study we have uncovered using it, and the treatment of medicine and sickness. Wow. Well, wow. and you use the herbs to uh, do you develop uh, cures for sale? Well, it is a, it's a folk medicine. Everybody around here already uses it, but most of my harvesting and testing on it is sent away to the city for large-scale production and extraction. We use it in teas here and tinctures and, and other bombs. What city would that be that you send it to? We send it to the Morovian city. Morovian city. Uh, while he was talking to Gravy, I perused the table, uh, looking for component pouch and alchemical supplies. Uh, roll investigation. Or wait, roll perception, I'm sorry. You got it. 18. You find both Ooh. on the table. I picked them Yay. up. And I ask, what would it take to convince you to part with these? Oh, well, those are the tools of my my work here. Very, very important um, that I have them, but it would be nice to have a nicer tent, I guess. More enclosed structure to sleep in. Hmm. If you could arrange that. I'll talk to the mayor for you. Hmm. And, and I ask him, are there any plans to uh, 
rebuild the church or restore it to its former glory? <laughs> well, there's not much interest from the community, and our Lord Mayor has been our patron for quite some time. However, he's been very busy as of late with his daughter's wedding. I... I what don't think Oki? that we're likely to get a another Oki. Yes, uh, we heard that he came to investigate and help with this matter. Did he have... Oh, what, yeah. What, 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 were, what were his thoughts on, on the whole situation? Oh, Oki was only here to investigate and make sure it wasn't uh, elven bashing hate, hate crimes. <laughs> charged by the governor to come and ensure that we aren't experiencing civil unrest. But the and government has, has no plans to help uh, with the local church for, for rebuilding. Not that I've heard. We are a close partner of the university and we may experience some sort of benefit from them once we receive word back, it's not something I've had. It, it, it does take quite a bit of time to get those things pushed through, but the Academy of Neuralis is oftentimes slow in their budget. Does Harry know the school's name? Yes. <laughs> Flat out, yes. <laughs> so the Academy of Neuralis, let me write it down here. Academy of Neuralis is the largest university in the province. Um, the Morovian city is the capital of the province. It is something that you are all familiar with. Academy of Neuralis? Yes, and you would all be familiar with the uh, university as well. Okay. Uh, I take a vial out of the alchemical supplies uh, and I cast healing elixir and hand it to the guy and say uh, this is you what have I not gotten you have not gotten those supplies yet oh okay no problem until he until you arrange oh he's gonna trade it later okay that makes sense yeah he'll tr he'll trade it to you later um, he kind of uh, lowers your hand as you go to pick it up off the table and kind of pushes it back down and says uh, we'll see what you come up with um, I have my own curative uh, as a fellow alchemist that I could offer you. I wouldn't take anything with me um, just to see if it perks you up a little. And how am I to know that I can trust you? You are a stranger. Well, as a fellow, a fellow uh, man of knowledge and alchemy, I, I thought we'd have uh, a deeper connection than that. These are very difficult, scary times, and you are all outsiders. Of course. We've proven nothing to be trustworthy so far. We've helped the city, the town, sorry. That's true. Why don't you take a drink of it first? Of course. Uh, so I take a vial out of the, the bag. It magically fills, uh, and then I take a sip of it and hands it over to him. He follows suit. Uh, he heals for, what was it, 2d4 plus 2? And when I rolled, I got an 8, but you can obviously roll if you want. He heals for 7. Okay. So he's back, perky. Instantly, a little pep in his step. Nice. Interesting. It is very interesting. Indeed. What is this you call this? Uh, it's just a simple healing elixir of my own design. And do you think that perhaps we could discuss your recipe? Recipes, your findings. I'm I'm always interested in speaking with a, another man of alchemy of course uh we'll talk to the mayor about your accommodations uh and then we'll be back we can talk all you would like yes yes uh 
Hurry, hurry. It is ever inconvenient to be out here exposed to the elements, and I'm worried about the safety of my procurements. And he kind of, like, looks around at all the things hanging under his tent <laughs> that are, like, soggy and sagging. Okay. <laughs> we'll do our best. That's all I can ask. And then he bows and goes back to his work. Awesome. That's nice. Thank you. He didn't hear you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you! No. <laughs> but yeah. Thank you very much. To the mayor's, I guess. To the mayor. Oh, the manor, I guess, is what it's called. <laughs> Gil's already gone. <laughs> can Gil stop going so I can grab his character? <laughs> Gil falls in a pit. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are back walking across the lawn. Approaching the Lord's Manor. You approach the Lord's Manor and you see before you a large stone house. It is way too exquisite for this small village. It is very obvious that he who resides within is incredibly wealthy. It is a very old structure and it has been maintained excellently. It has detailed gardens, a paved front drive, uh, meeting up with the muddy road. And by paved, I mean cobblestoned. And the gardens kind of wrap around in a pebble path connecting the church directly to the lawns. Uh, there are the same herb gardens and uh, planters connecting the two properties that you see with well manicured bushes as well. And there are columns in the front of the home that seem a bit out of place and they are of a gemstone, like a the inside of a cracked geode, marbled, holding up the front awning of the home, a very large double door with knockers made of silver. Damn. Glitzy. Uh, I guess I'd knock on the door shrugs. So I, I don't know if that's appropriate, but... Uh, quickly, there is uh, an answer to the door, and you see standing before you a very thin, wispy man, uh, long, silvery white hair pulled back into a well-manicured ponytail, very visibly pointy ears, um, bright blue eyes, and a spick and span, very well washed and tailored uniform. Wow. He is very fancy. And he has lace on his cuffs and white gloves. And he opens the door with a smug look on his face and he says, Yes. Uh, we're here at the request of the mayor. Ah, yes, we've been expecting you. He stands back and opens the double doors outwards towards you. Smart. He waits uh, outside with them and kind of waves you forward into a grand hallway. Awesome. Go inside. You enter the foyer and there are busts of different similarly angular angular angled faces <laughs> mm -hmm. on pedestals uh, very fancy sculpture there are large paintings along the walls and marbled floors beneath your feet 
Wow. This is by far one of the nicest buildings probably any of you other than um, Harry has ever been in. I grew up in a nest. <laughs> That's not even a building. <laughs> Uh, shall we wait here? I asked the attendant. As he's closing the door, his back to you, he's pulling them closed. You see him slide the bolt upwards. True. And he bolts the doors behind you. He turns and faces you and says, no, please follow me. Okay. I follow He leads you deeper into a thinner hallway in a very large solarium. He nice. tells you to uh, please wait here. It will just be a moment. Yes, sir. So there is glass kind of everywhere. There are plants everywhere in the solarium, large four to five foot tall uh, hand painted vases and just a continuance of the glamour and glitz uh, that you've thus far experienced. Yeah. And in comes Bailey Shop. Holding his hands out uh, to greet you. Uh, welcome, welcome. I'm glad to see that you took me up on my invitation. How could we not? Uh, I shake his hand, and then I gesture to Gravy. Um, we brought you a gift. I produced the baked goods. Nice. I heard he that sees, you're a fan. He sees the basket, instantly knows where it's from, and he kind of like uproariously chuckles. <laughs> and he uh, takes it from you, and he's like, what a delightful gift. It's as if you've known me my entire life. And then he hands it off to his uh, butler boy, who's kind of still standing butler in the boy. back, and uh, says, uh, just a moment. And he opens it up, and he takes one of the escargot out and uh, starts eating it and uh, says, uh, have you had your breakfast? Uh, yes, we have, but we'd be delighted to share a table with you. Uh, well, I've already had my breakfast as well. Let us let us talk. And he uh, takes a hurried couple of bites and then shoves the rest back into the basket and gonna, waves the butler off. I pointed the basket and say, there's something in there for your daughter as well. Ah, yes. Uh, oh, goodness. Oki, am I her name? <laughs> Giancarlo, can you please make sure that Delphine uh, has yep. risen and... Let her know that she's received a gift. Appreciate it. How the fuck did you know how to spell Giancarlo? It's an Italian name, isn't it? Yes, but it could be spelled so many ways. Or <laughs> Juan Carlo, J U A N, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Two names, Juan Carlo. <laughs> now, if you don't mind, you may uh, follow me into my study. And then he kind of leads you down a hallway and into a larger room. And he points to some uh, settees and asks you to have a seat. He sits at a large desk with various uh, golden accoutrements and sits in a big leather chair kind of relaxes backwards he's not as friendly in his demeanor as he was eating the escargot <laughs> but much so improved over last night perfect to work with that he's nicer <laughs> <laughs> Uh, before we get nicer but not nice yeah <laughs> before we get started sir uh, I actually had a request for you well it's unorthodox but considering the 
debt that I owe you to both my town and my daughter's wedding and their lives, uh, I will allow it. Um, so we were just up the hill with Iowa, and uh, he seems very uh, in need of some shelter besides a tent, uh, and I was hoping you could arrange something. Hmm. I suppose I could send someone over to make sure he has a little better accommodation. That's very kind of you to use your favor <laughs> for his benefit. I am assuming that you've stopped there on your way here then? Uh, yes, sir. Indeed. And how did you find the priest? Well, a bit uh, shook up from the matters at hand, the burnings, but overall a very nice fellow. Indeed. Yes, I don't think he's been quite the same since his facility burned. Don't mm. think any of us have been quite the same since these events started. Quite pale, ashen even, but that's neither here nor there. Is he ill? Ah, I thought that maybe you would tell us, but I'm not sure. Well then, I guess it's important that we get him suitable accommodation. In the meantime, he may stay here in the cottage until I can get something worked up for him. Uh, let me, me send word. It kind of rings a little bell. Giancarlo comes trotting in. Giancarlo. <laughs> <laughs> Giancarlo's the goat of the city. <laughs> like, <laughs> he secretly runs everything. <laughs> Giancarlo, just for the record, this is a insanely fancy place for the location. True. And considering the Lord, and Giancarlo is way fancier than he needs to be in this, even in this place and in this position. He was inherited with the house. Yeah, <laughs> the Alfred. Yeah, yeah exactly. Exactly. Uh, Giancarlo, can you ensure that our cottage is set up for the priest? I am humbled by our guest request and slightly embarrassed that I did not think of it myself. He's been out there in the elements, and let's make sure he has suitable accommodation. Please send the boys over and make sure that he knows that uh, we will get him his own private accommodation reestablished as soon as we can. Giancarlo kind of bows and like tiptoes back out. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Of course, of course. Now, I ask you here because you were so helpful last evening and I felt I owed you my favor and, of course, the hospitality, being new in our town and rescuing us all, saving my daughter and her new husband. How does she uh, fare today? Is she recovered? I have yet to see her this morning. It is her wedding night. Oh, uh oh. It was her wedding night. So. <laughs> I'm hoping like that uh, your gift will delight her enough to come and grace us with her presence, but let's not get her hopes up. He kind of smiles. <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> So what can I do for you? Well, we just came upon your, your town last night and we, we were um, immediately enthralled with the uh, situations that are going on here and and uh, we're, we're, we're concerned for your, your citizens and the safety of everyone here and we're wondering if you can let us know a little bit about what's going on and Maybe there's something we can do to help. Yeah, he sits forward, kind of furrows his brow, and he's like, clasps his hands together. Well, you're not the only ones. It's been very tragic what's been going on here. We've always been a peaceful community and never experienced anything like this. Now the governor's involved, just draw negative attention to our little hamlet. We have always been known for being a quiet, peaceful community. Most don't even know that we exist here in the depths of the forest. 
I myself am wondering what's going on. But the priests and I have been busy with our own work, trying to pull in the harvest and doing my best to make sure that our town is safe, but I've imposed a curfew and last night was the only time that we've violated that and we all know what happened there. Have you have you set anyone uh, to investigate the 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 recent fires that have happened around the city or the town? Sorry. Yes, I went myself. I sent a few of my men. They found nothing out of the ordinary other than just everything was burned. Now Burns' place. He happened to be up in the middle of the night finishing up some work and smelled the smoke and heard a clang and. Uh, caught the fire before it set spread. Very lucky, very lucky, considering what happened with the other barn. And then, of course, the church. But we've got the wine shipments coming up missing, milk coming up missing, and... Milk. Where was the milk stolen from? Milk is comes in with the wine for okay. the tavern. Same shipments, but different. Different shipments themselves have been taken. Uh, like waylaid? Are the merchants okay? Like what? Are the caravan people okay who are bringing the shipments? Well, in both instances, the the men that were on the uh, route came back. No clothes between them saying Shit. that they were on the road and the next thing they knew they woke up on the side of the road empty wagons no clothes no horses oh my god that they oddly familiar <laughs> walked themselves back but you know at first we just thought it was a likely story and that you know put them in the stocks gave them a couple of lashings and hoped that I would teach them a lesson but then it happened again. And I don't are, know are if they... I've got thieves on my hands or if they're telling the truth. Were the gentlemen, the, the, the merchants that were, um, that came back uh, in, the, in the buff, are they are they still around or have they since left your town? No, they're still around. Oddly enough, one of them was in both, both in incidences. I ask his name or her name. Bobby. Bobby. R Robbie. Bob Bobby. 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 Bobby Nelly. Oh wait. N i l l y. And uh, when you spoke to Bobby, did they uh, give you any kind of information or indication of anything that giving any kind of leads on to what may may have happened to them? I mean, and like I just told you Bobby Bobby is just a young boy he's mm. just just come to adulthood this is his first foray onto his own first responsibility I've given him <laughs> and it was in transporting goods for my own uh, trade goods company here and we transport commodities to the tavern and to some of the other merchants here and Bobby said that he was on the road as usual and all of a sudden he woke up no clothes on the horse was gone the wagon was empty and he walked back first Lynn. time he and uh, Haas Haas Boris I just thought that they had devised some silly plan thinking you know, they would have all the wine they could drink, a couple of young men here, and put them in the stocks and gave them some lashings, as I told you. But yeah. they didn't volunteer any additional information, and then it happened again, and I thought maybe I just didn't punish him enough. But <laughs> this was a, a another another boy with him this time, and very trustworthy young man. I I can't see even Bobby doing this twice in a row. So it's very strange indeed, but 
same exact situation. They were on the road. Next thing they know, they wake up. No clothes on, no horse. Is this wagon is empty? Been there. Is this uh did this occur back to back or was there like several shipments in between that were successful? There were one shipment in between that was successful, okay. but this was within a two week period. Mm-hmm. Just a couple of weeks ago. And we have not sent another shipment since. After the church burned down? Hmm. After the church burned down, yes. Very intriguing. Yes, I must say, it has stumped me. Don't know, like I said, if I'm dealing with thieves or something else that's going on. Seems that there's just a constant blur of smoke and thievery, and I do have a bit of a favor to ask of you. Of course, your lord. I have to admit, I didn't purely ask you here to thank you after your deeds last night. Even in the state I was in, I could tell that you may be equipped to help me. You must swear yourselves to keeping this a secret. Otherwise, I will make sure that you exit this town as quickly as you entered with the same amount that you came in with. I swear. Do you swear? I swear by the moon and the stars and the sky. <laughs> <laughs> These guys won't get that. <laughs> I swear... I elbow Gene and Harry. (laughs) (laughs) Gene, Harry, do you swear? Uh, Hold up three fingers and say scouts on her. I'll be there. (laughs) Um, Okay, he says. Wait, Victoria, are you here? Oh, they are muted. I am here. I just okay. Muted first. I swear. (laughs) <laughs> okay. I just wanted to make sure because I didn't want to assume like if you DC'd or something that we didn't no, check on you. I was checking on the new cat. It's okay. fine. Is the new but cat okay? I, yeah, she she like keeps drooling or something out of the right side of her mouth. Oh. Like, like she, she doesn't act sick. How long? Like, like how long does she drool? or How long, how long has she been do- doing it? Since I forgot her like a month ago. Oh, okay. And we've taken her to the vet once, and they didn't see anything wrong. But Maybe is it colorful? Like a neurological thing. Nope. It's just, it's just it's... clear mm. spit. Mm. Yeah. Maybe her she jaw's has... out of alignment. Mm. I was wondering. She has FIV, but I don't know that that would make her oh, trouble. Oh. No. Yeah. Same. Yeah. 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 That's FIV does lead to that because Micah oh, it has does? FIV. Yeah, it leads to, like, weird shit. Okay. Yeah. But I mean, that the makes only... me feel better and not better at the same time. No, yeah, I feel it. My cat uh, has FIV, or when I got her FIV, you know, she has it. Yeah. But um, she also had periodontitis, like, they took out her tooth. So sometimes she drools because of, like, her teeth. So it could be her teeth, could be FIV. <laughs> but if the vet didn't say anything, maybe just be like, did you look at her teeth? I don't fucking know. Yeah, so I was thinking is she was real squirmy the first time, so they might not have looked real hard. They said they looked fine when we took her, but that was the first time she's ever been to the vet. She was literally, she's literally my trash cat. Yeah. Like she was off on the porch, and it's like, okay, maybe start her now and like getting her used to like massaging her jaw or her mouth, like you playing with it without her being pissy about it so that it's easier on them yeah eventually. i've been petting her cheeks and i didn't feel anything immediately wrong and she didn't flinch away yeah that's a good call I figured yeah. she might just be drooly but we have another appointment for booster shot so we'll just ask yeah. him then all right well at least you like figured out it's probably not something a big deal yeah i don't think it's crazy well with she him saying drooly his cat. When I, yeah, when I got her and stabilized her diet, a lot of her like FIV symptoms went away. So that's good. I don't know how fair. young her cat is, but yeah. She's one. 
they estimated. Okay. The cat's like 11 ish, so. Good okay. lord. I'm trying to get things figured out because I've got my old cat who doesn't have FIV and then my new one who does. Mm. Yeah. So we're just. All right. The, the mayor is just like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> What's this about cats? <laughs> I didn't ask you guys to keep that a secret. Yes, we solemnly swear, Captain or Mayor. Well, there's some of my men who I have had on loan from an associate in the city have come to escort some of my shipments to ensure the security after these last incidences. I had them yeah. go out and investigate where the road where these shipments are disappearing and they have not come back. I have not told anyone about this yet. I was hoping that I would have some help in mm. kind of investigating perhaps what's happened to them before other people find out. Well, as the group's leader, I accept the quest. <laughs> I say it very precociously. Kind of sits back in his chair with his eyes, you know, wide. Really? Yes. They all saw me and knew. Right away. I recall having an election, but... <laughs> Sometimes I didn't even tell you what it was offering, but... Fantastic. Uh Oh, what are you offering? <laughs> well, I was thinking about a gold reward, or if you had anything else in mind. One gold? That's not <laughs> enough. What is it that you are after? Maybe. Hey, two gold. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. What is it that brings here. you to my fair village? May I rephrase? Uh, random chance. And maybe, possibly, we'd be interested in... He looks very confused. Random chance? Yes, uh, we seem to have just kind of stumbled upon this town by sheer accident. So you weren't sent? Uh, no, not as far as we know. That's what we said. Well, what is it that I can offer you? Our choice of armor and weapons, so we may go out into the world and complete your tasks. And some spending money. <laughs> And obviously some gold to go along with it. I may be able to rally up some equipment here around the manor. And uh, I could offer 20 gold. I look to the party it's <laughs> as if, like, it sounds reasonable to me. If, if I'm looking to see if they nod as well. With equipment, I would say probably. Depends on what equipment. Yeah. Do, do, uh, is this equipment going to be provided before we go um, to help or after we come back with uh, information? I can provide the equipment beforehand and hold back the gold reward in good faith. Okay. We would deeply appreciate that, my lord. Then I think we have a deal. Do we not? Leader? <laughs> Yes, 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 we do. Because I'm the leader. Well then, I will be sending Giancarlo with you to show you the way. And, uh, let's get him here and see what we can rally up around the manor. Uh, stay here and I shall return. Don't touch any. Better not bring back a legendary dagger made by a dwarven king. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. That'd be very funny. <laughs> we just acquired in the town. <laughs> he did he specifically say he'd look around his own ad address. So. Okay. <laughs> you know. 
the blacksmith sold it to the mayor for five gold. <laughs> for ten gold? Yeah. <laughs> twenty gold. Yeah, twenty gold. <laughs> twenty gold. That's legendary, dude. <laughs> go to the basement to check yep <laughs> i sit and touch nothing oh man that's tough should we be doing anything right now guys like if we're alone in this office he said not to touch anything oh but it'd be so fun can we look at everything can we look around the room and just see what we perceive without uh touching he did, didn't say not he did say we did no you know what I'm talking If you want to look around and see what you see, roll perception. Okay. It's like that SpongeBob episode with the map. The Eyeballs just. <laughs> There's my... There we go. Seven. What? Or seven. Whatever's higher. I got a 14. <laughs> you see some books around the room. Is there anything of interest uh, Lanterns. in the book that uh, might interest Harry in particular? I know he likes to read. Yeah, are there any cool books? They're mostly maps. I like maps. I'm just wondering, you might get to ask him to trade for that or add that in. You see Anybody else record? rolling? I will roll as well, yes. A spare map of the area might actually be handy. Yeah. 16. Harry, you uh, you pick up a book of maps that's sitting on his desk. Well, I, you see it. I don't touch anything. <laughs> you see a map <laughs> of. You see a map uh, labeled a book labeled Morovia, and you see uh, the uh, Dysert Forest, which is the area that you guys are in, like the generalized I search for township D Y S A R T Do we know how far that is from our original locations yeah, where you woke up been, yeah. or no like yeah. like where we're each from Oh Well that's what I mean I don't know what y'all mean Well compared to like your your school of like Yeah that where that boarding school you looked at You're all going to have to get with me correct. to figure out where were prior okay. to waking up. So, if we have this map after this game, we make it readily available, like in there, and we can figure out where we lived, mm -hmm. I guess, on, on the whole. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah, I don't know where I lived. But, like, maybe relative to Harry's, because we know Harry came from, like, that academy. The werewolf academy? Or the wolf school? <laughs> yeah. Not yeah, all we of them were that. werewolves. <laughs> I was eating hot tamales and my mouth's on fucking fire, dude. I can't hot handle hot tamales. stuff at all anymore. I'm sweating. Hot tamales out <laughs> All right. So, uh, Gravy, you notice that there is a, a bookshelf that is kind of cockeyed uh, behind Gel here. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's raised up off the floor when you look at the bottom of it. Uh huh. It's angled away from the wall. Okay. I. You want to check it out? I would. Yes. My assumption is it's like a false bookcase or false door. It is. Uh, can and we as you can pull we look to it... make sure there's no traps or anything? No. Okay. Pull on it. If you want, yeah, it's. What would that be for searching for traps? Well, Spells did you notice or... or did I notice? You noticed? I'm just kidding. I'm just fucking with okay. There are spells that some people will have. Yeah, Does anybody want to use those? I, I don't have any spells. But I don't I have, like, fine traps or anything, though. Yeah, I could just look and, like, do a general investigation or something. I don't know. Not for this, because the only okay. thing you're going to notice is the bookshelf. Okay. Um, All right. You, um, you have to I use something like would... detect magic. Yeah, I wouldn't check it for uh, traps. I'd probably just try to swing the bookcase open. 
Okay. So you swing the bookcase open, and it is a false bookcase. It's a door leading into a small room. And um, it's, like, pitch black in the room, so you can't see anything. Does anyone have dark vision? I do. Uh, I have dark vision. 60 feet. All right. Yeah, I can see in the So bed. you see in the corner of the room, okay. there is a bird cage. <gasps> no. Is that your bird? And in no. the, uh, is that in the bird cage is Polly, the parrot. <gasps> oh my god, no, this is about to go down, son. You're going to kill the mayor? He <laughs> 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 stole a man bird. That ain't right. That ain't right. What does Polly Ooh. say when she sees you? Uh, Polly, want a cracker? <laughs> oh shit! I'm gonna go get water, and you're gonna come up with a better thing for Polly to say. Polly, want two crackers? <laughs> do we do we see anything else in the room? Um, like if, if we go in the room She's now, now I'm entering the room. At She's the AFK. Room. She's grabbing water. Uh, I thought she had like a no wireless headset. No. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love her. I have a wireless headset. I walked away a while ago and was still talking to you guys. I literally went down. Uh, she also maybe. has a wireless headset, but I don't think she's role right now. I, yeah, I she think it's the polite way of Alexa. saying I, I'm not going to fucking say anything. <laughs> uh, oh, this is fucking hilarious. I was talking to Alexa. Turn the light. I'm on a headset. I have a new line, Cricket. Okay. What does Polly, Polly wants two crackers. No, I heard that, and I said Polly wants a pack of crackers. Polly wants three crackers <laughs> and, a, and a smoke. Polly sounds like a racist. You can't just go around calling white people little bit crackers. So, Try hard in the room. Are now, like now that we so see you Polly, have like found we go full Polly. Polly. Yeah. Come on, um, and, and we, I look Go around ahead. the room to see if there's anything else in there that maybe we were missing. Uh, Jean's card, uh, any of my my stuff. I rush to my bird. Anything else in the room? If you're gonna investigate the room, roll investigation. I can't see, so I leave it to you guys. Dude, it is so hot outside seven. that I opened the door and a hot breeze blew in. Birdman, Ugh. you wanna investigate with me? Uh, I think that I rush straight to my bird. I, uh, there's like no logic for me right now. Molly? I have to get my bird out of the cage for some reason. Like I just gotta. I don't know why they're there, but I don't care. Okay. Gene, you can't see in the dark. Nope. Is there? Can I look for like a light switch or anything that can light in this room? Here, I'll cast light on you. On your. Oh yeah. I'll cast light on. Yeah, me or something, my bandana. <laughs> okay, so we have light now. So Harry and Jean can look around as well. Devin. Uh, what, who rolled what? Because I'm not upstairs. Um, Birdman gave us light so we can see. And I rolled a seven for percep investigation. Bleh. Or was I supposed to do perception? Investigation and you don't see anything. Sorry, I gotta roll now. Um, investigation. Ah, oh, two sevens. That's it. Uh, I'm gonna use a luck. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah. Yeah. It's Bird too late. I already got two. the result, but I should have done that. I'm gonna use my bardic inspiration. Ooh, baby. All right. <laughs> Horrible roll. Eleven. <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, and a D six is a good roll. I guess. Uh, Twenty-two. You don't see anything out of the ordinary in the closet. You see like a broom. There's some like draperies that you would put over furniture. I run to the door that enters the office and I listen see if anyone's coming I 
I want you to roll stealth. Stealth? Gross. Yeah. Hold on. How quiet can you be trying to listen? I'm going to use a lock. <laughs> <laughs> Fourteen. You don't Good hear roll. anyone coming. Okay, I will stay there in case. Is there a window? No windows in that room. Okay. <laughs> a lightless room. For so we, ha we have light in the room there, now, but there's um, a, fi a lit fireplace in the room that's lighting it, and there are candles around the room. And it was dark as fuck. <laughs> Not the closet is dark, but the room that the office. Oh, I see. Has this thing. I peek under the covered furniture. I can't believe you took my bird. There is no covered furniture. It's just the covers for the furniture. Oh, Sorry. so there's nothing in there except furniture covers and a bird. There's a bird, furniture covers, and a broom. And a broom. Okay. Specifically a broom. Where this broom came from. Could I collect my bird by chance or is the cage locked or No, you can open the cage easily and take your bird out. I see you only have your bird. To be honest, okay. very big negligence on my part. <laughs> Leaving him alone, just or leaving her alone, just like my parents. So, do you guys want to leave this room and shut it back, or do you want to call him out on it and say that uh, we heard the bird? I'm just wondering, uh, how do I hide my bird if I? Gene, you hear footsteps approaching the door. Stuff him in your shirt. All right. I, yeah, unfortunately, my, my shirt. Oh, the tights. Oh, I have to stuff in my shirt. Yeah. Put him in the back. You stuff put, him in your tights. Put him. <laughs> I, I stuff him in the in the in the nut the fuck the nut bag. <laughs> you put him in your budgie smuggler. Good lord. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we, we accidentally closed the bullshit bookshop. Looks really confused seeing Jean be by the door. Yes. And all of you look guilty as fuck. I'm very deceptive. He notices he... a squirming bulge in your pants. <laughs> or am I just seeing you, Mayor? <laughs> and he just, he just stares at you confused and doesn't say anything. <clears throat> it's got a mind of its own. <laughs> Roll deception. Warranty one. Oh wow. my god. He's gonna believe me, yeah? <laughs> he thinks I have a massive cock. <laughs> <laughs> a massive riling cock. No, sir, it's a parrot. Not he a cock. Says, Why do you have my bird in your pants? Oh, <laughs> Your bird. Am I so happy to see you? <laughs> <laughs> I produced the bird. <laughs> you, you have the tightest fucking tights on. I know. Right? They're like little kid size tights, and they're like <laughs> just barely stretched up over your leg, and like the waistband barely covers your hip bone. <laughs> like the outline of the bird in your pants. Like you can see the eyes of the bird. Yeah. Of your tights. I pull the bird <laughs> out and I say, Oh, strange. I just felt such a close kinship as I was raised by birds. It reminds me of my own. Is it not your bird? I mean, if you really want the bird, you can take the bird. Oh, well, that's so kind of you. Anyways, I found some things for you all but can you kindly just it doesn't sit well with me with you having the bird in your pants can you oh. just remove it from your pants yes 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 I try to catch the bird did you catch the bird Did the bird fly away? What 
Why are you trying to catch the bird? You just said, pull it out of my pants and it's wriggling. Ow. Oh, I thought you were saying it like flew away or something. That would be your decision, not mine. The bird does not fly away. You're holding on to it. You pull it out of your pants. You're holding on to it. Okay, I took he... a deep look. Is this my bird? <laughs> Polly wants two crackers, Polly says. Okay, weird. Huh. You know it's Polly. That's so weird. Billy Schaff looks at you, like, still very confused by why you would put a bird in your pants, but totally believed your story about how you grew up, and, uh, oh. just thinks you're batshit crazy. That's so, not wrong. He... Yeah, doesn't care about the bird at all and he's like anyways and he sits back down in his chair and he says I'm having Giancarlo prepare the materials in the foyer if you'd like to uh, go and check on what it is that you'd like but I'd like to have just one more quick word with you yes. he kind of looks okay. around surveying everybody of course your lord our lord I'm prepared to offer you the gold reward and, of course, the items that, you know, we've rallied up around here, but I, I'd just like to know if you weren't sent here and you just kind of ended up here, why did you choose to intervene last night? We saw people in trouble and we helped. It's just our way. Yeah. You welcomed us in, so we figured... We should protect your townsfolk. Well, I guess that checks out. So he uh, is like, well, let's go uh, check out what Giancarlo has. And then he, as he walks past Gravy, he just kind of like visibly walks around you. Like, <laughs> he does not want to be anywhere near your vicinity. I look at Polly, and then I look at the mayor like, what a weirdo. <laughs> I, asked the, I asked the mayor as we're casually walking, I, I was like, that is a lovely bird. If I was wanting to get one for myself, where would you recommend uh, finding such a, a specimen? Well, heck of I know. I just had never seen anything like it before, and uh, there was a gentleman that was passing through and offered me the bird for tuppence, really. Ten silver, I think, and I thought that Delphine would like it, but apparently she has zero taste for birds, so I put it in this room because it's annoying and never shuts up about crackers. I'm like uh, flinching so hard. <laughs> this man that, that came in uh, your town, the traveling man, or, that, what did he look like? Or uh, did he happen to give you his name? or any other No, information? I didn't ask. Okay. Just a traveling peddler, it seemed. Didn't stop for long, had regular clothing and other bits and bottles. What race by chance? I was a uh, half orc like magic man here. Was was he selling any playing cards that you saw? Uh, I don't recall seeing any playing cards. Okay. But Did he I happen to have I a wasn't really <laughs> going through his wares. He he more approached me and seemed very desperate to get rid of the bird. I see. Now I know why. <laughs> Agreed. I kind of want to... I'm just talking like as myself now to the group. I kind of want to fully be honest with him and tell, tell him why we're interested because I think we would get a little bit further with him. He seems Go for it. Forward. Um, so, in, in full honesty, um, we, we were also... Uh, we also woke up naked outside of your town and uh, we were robbed of all our possessions prior to coming last night and we don't know who to trust but uh, speaking to you I, I feel that uh, you've been nothing but honest with us and I want to be honest with you as well but um, I believe that the man that, that brought the bird the other night might have been involved with the, the situation that's happened to us and may uh, be involved with some of the situations that happened to your town his eyes grow visibly wider. He is shocked by what you've said. <sighs> he sighs uh, long and just kind of looks at you and says, well, 
I appreciate you being honest with me eventually. Uh, and I still very much appreciate you folks taking on the quests at hand. He looks at uh, Giancarlo, who is kind of standing like stiff as shit, uh, holding a bunch of things over his arms, uh, back straight. And then he looks back at you guys and he says, I feel even worse for punishing poor Billy now. But. <laughs> I lost him twice. <laughs> I must say, it's, uh, very unnerving to know that these are not isolated incidences. Well, we're going to do all we can to, to help find out what happened. Well, I truly hope that you can bring back some more information and that we can use it to the best of my ability to protect my, my village and my inheritance here is my duty and I just really would like an answer to this mystery what how does one end up I mean you can see where I wouldn't believe these boys right well yes of course I mean we hardly believed it ourselves when it happened to, to us so. and where did you wake up uh, not west? far um, to the northwest or something westish the middle of like a sandy forest, kind of spaced out a bit. The trees well, kind of spaced out. West, you say. Out. He looks back at John Carlo. He says, "Interesting." Does that mean anything to you? Well, I mean, it's not super far away from where you'll be headed, mm -hmm. but I'd have to see the area to know. Well, we're gonna be. I can't super risk leaving my town. I can't risk leaving my town unled something were to happen to me unfortunately of course so i cannot accompany you but no so it makes sense uh i do send Giancarlo. my said he is my most trusted associate uh, skilled fighter if need be well kind of looks at Giancarlo, who is like hold still back straight holding things over his arms and yeah. uh very waifish Let's just say that he's very resourceful, but not a skilled fighter. Okay, interesting. And, um... You know, Godspeed, and... I look forward to hearing what you have to bring back. Interesting. And he kind of guides you to, like, there's a table in the foyer, and uh, on the table there is a wooden shield. Dibs. Mm-hmm. There is a set of heavy armor. I'm sorry, there's a set of leather armor. Harry, do you already have a set? I've got a set of leather. I already have leather. Jean, you already have leather? Um, I mean, this I is don't. ours regardless. Armor. Take it, right? But sorry, Jeannie said you do. I don't wear armor. I got magic armor, whatever. Mage armor. Spell. Okay. Um Well I'm already picking one up tonight, so Gail, why don't you just pick up this pair even if you don't wear it? You're you're pretty strong. Okay, I'll carry it. Is that all that was on the table? There are two cloaks. Okay, I'll I'll inspect the cloaks. Do they look like very fine make, or possibly even further into magical make? They are very fine elven made cloaks, silver thread, woven in. I will take a cloak. Jean, do you need a cloak? I don't know. Would it be Harry? Maybe. Just give me, yeah. I, I don't need it. Harry, no, be looking dashing it. on you. <laughs> I agree. All right. Awesome. Uh, Jean okay. Carlo, ever? There's more things. Hold oh, on. Okay. There's more. I have to check. 
Okay. But wait, oh. there's more. Uh, look on your seats. You all have a car. Whoa! It's <laughs> car key. No, a whole car. The whole car. <laughs> there's a horse and carriage. <laughs> <gasps> a bacon sandwich. <gasps> Sorry, I dropped that. My bad. Oh. <laughs> there are bedrolls for all of you. Oh, nice. Take a bedroll. Any uh, backpacks? There are no backpacks. There are three loaves of bread. There are four satchels of dried goods. One of each hardtack, dried fruit, jerky, and nuts. Amazing. Uh, do you want to take these this time, um, Jean? Yep. Any water skins, by chance? We need water. Is that a thing we need? I think so. Okay. There is a bottle of alcohol, which is grain, flat grain alcohol. Okay. There are three bundles of rope. Okay. Nice. I'll, I call I'll a take, rope. I'll take some rope. Gee, you take the other rope because I can fly. Yep. I can't fly, he just thinks he can fly. <laughs> I was about what kind to of ask, rope? can Does you fly matter? or do you believe you can fly? When I, It'd probably be can... 50 feet of rope if you just look Yeah, but rope. is it hemp and rope or is that... Probably. Yeah, there's two sh uh, short shovels. Short shovel, okay. I'll take a shovel. I don't have a bag, so... And there are two two-man tents. Oh, can okay. Put one tent in my bag? Yeah, Jean, maybe you take yeah, the yeah. others. Yeah, and I'll tie a shovel. And I guess I'll strap a shovel yeah. to my bag. Yep. And then Jean... oh, I think I guess I could just t I don't know tie the shovel off unless G wants to put it in his bag. Yeah, I'll just put it in his bag. Put it on the side of my okay. bag. And I guess I'll tie the one bedroll to yeah. the top and one bedroll to the bottom. Makes sense. And there's one small bottle of oil. I'll just put it in my bag. I wish that we had more to offer you, but this is all we've kind of rallied up from around here. Like I said, it's been peaceful for quite a long time. We never really have many problems here, but, you know, most of the things that we have were, mm. unfortunately, in the church. No problem. Uh, I did have a question for you. Uh, do you happen to know or know anyone who can speak abyssal? Abyssal? Yes, sir. Well, the only person I can think of that would probably speak abyssal might be the priest. No. Okay. Well, I appreciate really it. really the only one with a formal education around here. Even I don't have one. Yes, yeah, speaking of, um, I think that he may be sicker than anticipated, so I would definitely look after him. Well, I have a few uh, folks I will be keeping care of him here in the cottage, and I will drop by later myself and check in on him. I appreciate you looking after our my associate. Uh, we actually after all. We actually need to see him before we head out, if that's okay. Can we make a detour first? Yeah, and, and I want to ask him that. That's uh, up to you when you decide to leave, but uh, I would appreciate it. You know, obviously, the sooner you go, the sooner hopefully you come back with information. And I, I just want to ask him that, you know, as we will keep everything he said to us between us, I hope he will do the same for us and he won't uh, divulge to other people. So I don't want people to know because we're investigating and um, I just want to make sure we keep it all but just between us and the mayor at this, at this time. Until we mm -hmm. find out we what's have going on. aligned goals yeah. and he holds his arm out to like kind of grip your your wrist in like a firm handshake of sorts. Nice. Yeah. It's a deal. Godspeed. And uh, tell the uh, priest that he is more than welcome and that I shall drop in and see him in the cottage later this evening. 
Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, and one more thing. He uh, leaves the room and then he comes back with the book from his desk for Harry. Seems, young man, that you may be the most equipped to make use of this. It is I... a map of the area. I appreciate your kindness and we will use it. I want to make sure you end up back here. That would be <laughs> most convenient. Smart. John Carlo will simply escort you to the area. He will not be staying with you. You are on your own during this mission. But the package doesn't come with John Carlo. <laughs> Rip off. <laughs> um, we're done. Do you guys want to save Priest for next week, or do you want to? I just want to drive by and pick up the spell pouch or the component pouch and the alchemist okay. supplies. We don't have I to. Need That's to fine. Go to bed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't need to do any role playing or anything. That was a fun game. Thanks for everybody. Thank you. Okay. We'll say that we went to the uh, priest then and uh, Jean got uh, the Yeah, it's doing. about 10 30 in the morning, just for the record. Okay. So uh, we'll pick up there next time. Uh, Gravy, that component pouch is for you if you want to put it on your character sheet. Okay. I don't need it. So. Awesome. Um, Thanks for the session. We're good. Thank you. Thank you. GG, everybody. Now we're all stocked up and ready to Die. be a terror oh, if we need to be. <laughs> Shopping spree. Shopping. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Good night, everybody.